How do we launch the tree? Let's get right into it. So we got looks bosses. It's gonna be interesting too. Some things. Chillin'. Okay. We got a lot of resin in right now to use, so I guess I could just go and do the ley lines that are boosted right now pretty much immediately. That's an idea. But beyond that, I do want to figure out the remaining local legends are I haven't found yet. Ideally. It's not as if there's a good way to really guarantee that. What I'm really do is flip around and keep working. Hmm. Get our stuff from Realm Depot. That's a transient resin for the week. More artifact juice is gonna go to Kinich. Mm -hmm. Something is weird and wacky with the connection right now. Hello there. I'm Sean. How are you? But what I have realized is that there's no way that. The amount of data that I have to use for employment does not have an effect on... <laughs> does not have an effect on how much data I've got to do this. I don't know. Either way, we have some Leylands. Oh, and they're conveniently close to the dailies, too. That's really... That's really, really convenient, actually. How are you doing? Either way... Just chilling out. What is? What is? Network connectivity issues that you've noticed, or what? Yeah, it... It is what it is. There's only so much I can do, you know? We will see what happens. Maybe I'll have to delete my parents' Netflix account or something without telling them. I don't know. Okay gonna go around and oh good god but it really is just you know what do I do about it pay for more data yeah it's it is what it is come on uh... well it sometimes you gotta sometimes it's the only option okay well huh that didn't kill that was weird. Huh. Alright. Let's play this. But it really is just... What do I do? You know, just offer to spend more of my own money to just get more data. Because I feel like that might be the only thing I can do at this point. You know, because it also means that I can't do stuff on my own time either, streaming or not. Even if I wasn't streaming this, my connection would still be absolute dog shit. It, it's, it wouldn't stop being a problem if I wasn't streaming. Okay. I mean, in the end, the connection would be an issue for them too. It prevents them from doing stuff as well. Okay. It's just... In the end... I genuinely, I guess I could, but I don't know how I would check that. Because it's, I don't think it's something I would have personal access to. 
And quite frankly, I think asking my family about it would be very much poking the bear, so to speak. You know, I don't want to go... Hey, how much data do we have? Because I'm running out of data for my stupid bullshit Twitch streaming, which one person watches. It... <laughs> That's not a winning proposition. I don't know. Uh, okay, so there's a story in here. What's going on with... Oh, we got... Sun in... Yeah, well, it's mean to me. If anyone's got the right. Also... Yeah, this is... Maybe not a quest, but you can plant some stuff in there, I think. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case... It's one person and one goblin. There we go. Hope that satisfies you. Come on. Come on. It's not what I meant. But it really is... A sort of... God knows what could even happen, but... You know, especially since it's just, what else would I do with my time anyway? Yeah. Fair. But I'm not sure that's how it works. Don't you kind of throw up your arms and claim... Foul play if I do that to you. Plot attempt, good boy, good boy, in your field today. Where are you train? Oh. Chica. Ru -ru -ru. I think I've found this one before. Well, what I mean is that if I wasn't streaming in general, I don't know what I would do with my time. You know, there's only so much more you can sleep. I would get bored quickly. Pretty energetic today, aren't we? Awesome. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Huh? Oh, hello there. We're doing some more mountain climbing training right now. Ru -ru -ru -ru. This is training coming along. Looks like he's recovering nicely. That's right. Mom says I'm getting real good at caring for him. Chica's improved loads. So you can climb way higher than you could last time. So that Chica's not very familiar with climbing mountains. And can you demonstrate for us again, by the way? Sure, I can. Just closely this time. All right. Mm -mm. Okay. Of course, Chica and I won't miss a thing this time. Yeah, I... God forbid, but crocheting does not interest me. I'm sorry. Counting on you, so what we'll do is time you wake climb. Ruru. Okay. So, we're in your capable hands then. We'll be watching you timing you from down below. Ruru. We will go over here and now. Being timed now or later? <clears throat> Let me see. Go up top and I. Oh my goodness. Oops. Okay, there we go. Cool. So what's that timing wise? Yeah, it's, well, it's not like you could really watch me crochet unless I streamed crocheting, at which point, what difference is meaningfully made? Come down the mountain and return to Tlaatum. Oh, you're awesome. I still couldn't quite catch what you were doing. Well, I, I've already paid people to do that. At that point, it would just be <laughs> wasting that money. So I will be training for a long time before we can match you, I'd say. Roo, roo. You can do it, Chica. I believe in you, too. Roo, roo, roo. It's a good boy, Chica. Remember what Uncle Yawar said. It's stronger as long as we keep working hard. Roar. Anyway, thanks a lot for your help. You have these fruits. Chica just picked it up. You know he's moving way faster than he used to. Yeah, I'm sure he's gotten scoop. Because he said you'd look to as an example. Roo, roo. All right. Then we're going to head back and look for my ditch. You're back at the tribe settlement right now. Okay. More cockahuatles. It's also just... If I were to focus on something, I'd prefer to get better at something I'm already... already have some knowledge of than start something entirely new. I'd prefer to just get better at music, whatever that would mean in practice. Okay, because I have no experience with visual art of meaningful note. 
But I have at least some experience with music. You know, as long as you like it. Whatever works. Okay. If you want to make a compilation or something, I, w I would be loath to stop you. It's your life to live. Oh my goodness. Connection is... But it's... Presumably a server issue, rather than a... Well, connection to the game and connection to Twitch, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's... The question is, is the stream cutting out, or is it just my individual connection to the game? Because those are two very different things, and what is in this pot? Touch. Okay, a slime. Oh well. Come on. Uh, what if we touch that pot again? Do I have to come back? That's weird. Oh, whatever. Go over here. What is that? Okay, you just grab one of that. Okay. Well, weekly bosses, Spiral Abyss, a couple more local legends to fight. You know, I should have known he'd say that. And fight. And next, you over here. Fight. One, two, and oh, okay. Fight. Oh, no crit. Come on. Okay. Listen up. No burning. Okay, so that's the final way line. Okay, should be one more daily to do. It's really interesting that they're having Layla and Overflow in the middle of the patch instead of the end. That is the first time they've ever done that. And nobody really knows why. Maybe it's to prep people for Keenich, I don't know. Did you see Keenich's trailer? I have not. I've seen some of the graphics, but that's it. That's about it. Okay. But what I have seen is the Kini trailer, which looks pretty cool, I would say. Come on. Bite. Bite. And. Oh, okay. Huh. Bite. Okay. You down. Come on. Hit. Hit. And. Go over, one, two, three, right, one, two, three, right, and another bite, there we go, oh, cool. I, I do not get, ca I do not care about being spoiled for the trailer for a fan art event. You can say whatever you like. Uh, I can't imagine it would have anything to do with the plot of the game. Wait, so... Okay, there was one more over here. Just emergency. Okay. Alright. Feed the Avatar of Lava, which is always the one with... No element applied for some reason. Okay. Two, three. Right. Oh my goodness. It's so crazy how much more damage money deals on a good day. Well, I, I saw I saw the Miku thing, but does what does that have to do with Hoyo Fair? I still don't know how I feel about Terrastal as a concept, just in Pokemon in general. Honestly, I saw someone draw something today about. Sort of the promise versus the payoff of terrestrialization, effectively. Oh, okay. It's probably good. Could be a whole lot worse. Well, it's just the Pokemon changes type. Why? That's the only good gimmick the game has had in the, out of the four gimmicks they've even tried. Well, they made that up. That was bullshit that they made up a generation afterwards to justify getting rid of Megas. 
No, seriously, that was never anything established in X and Y or Oraz. They put that in in Sun and Moon to basically prime the pump for phasing them out entirely. Because that was the Z-Move generation. And then they got rid of... You know, that was the one time they tried carrying forward previous gimmicks. And then they just never did it again. And then every generation had its one gimmick and carried nothing over. And... That, that was something... Yes! And that was something that they did in Sun and Moon. In Oraz, they did not have any conception... No, no concept of that. That was something that they wrote in when Sun and Moon came out to prime the pump for getting rid of it as a gameplay feature. So what you're saying is that you're the kind of stooge who falls for these kinds of blatantly manipulative tactics. You, until Sun and Moon, they only presented it as something really good and really cool. And they rewrote the entire story because they changed their minds but were simultaneously indecisive. They couldn't decide whether they wanted to just drop it entirely after a generation or keep it around so they picked a non-option well yes and what i'm saying is in the original concept before they changed things out for the sake of their corporate strategy well here's the thing they could have just kept adding megas that could have been a permanent addition Especially since it was a good way to make older lines better. Because regional forms, those aren't the Pokemon you had before. Your shitty Beedrill from Generation 1 was made a lot better by the existence of Mega Beedrill. Because you could pop it all the way over and make it Mega. But, you know, you were limited by having only one per battle. But having one chance to make a Pokemon shine is better than having none. If they made a new regional form of Beedrill, that does nothing for people who liked the old form of Beedrill. Mega Beedrill is great. The problem is not... The problem is that Game Freak got rid of Megas. That's the problem. When they were... The coolest of the gimmicks. There's an argument that terrestrialization is better... Quote-unquote mechanically... Because Z-Moves, yeah, but at the very same time, Legend games don't have multiplayer, don't have hell items. They're good as single-player games, but deliberately kind of baby mode in terms of multiplayer. Because it's not the focus. Let's hit these rocks. Alright. Hit. What is going to be in here? This had better be a totem. And the answer is just a chest. I'm gonna cry. Come on. Not just that, but we lost our all out of focus. And... Well, it. You're literally 21. You don't get to be a Gen 1er. Every other generation had their weird focuses too. It was just a little more played down. Generally, they kept incrementing on new features. Such as... Generation 2 added day and night cycles, as well as friendship, also Pokemon breeding. Generation 3... Actually, that's... Was silly. Generation 4 added the gender differences, which was, eh, whatever. But that was the entire purpose of the Dawnstone. Because the Dawnstone's exclusively used for gender-exclusive evolutions. Gallade, Frostlass. I think that's it. But, generally they've tried to incrementally add things. The reason Megas stood out was was because that was, that was the first time they ever walked anything back. And you could argue that if they had kept it going it would have been Future Bloat. And that's partially true, but it's also a damn good feature. Because, it, again, it gave them a way to flashily, and I do like things that are flashy. You're not going to get me to say anything otherwise, but 
it gave them a way to make older Pokemon that were on the weaker side stronger. Yes, and I know that it, it was a level of escalation. It was a lot flashier. But Mega's also did a lot more to rebalance the playing field. Which is part of why I liked them so much. Because they gave older Pokemon that were frankly not worth shaking a stick at a chance in the limelight. I... If I recall correctly, Juniper's whole deal as a professor was evolution. Don't quote me on that. But if you want to talk about something that really defined its competitive scene, it was the gems. Because actually, it's harder to focus because it wasn't really shield in the way that Megas or Z-moves were. That was part of it, but that was an issue and approach. And they also gave them to Pokemon like Pidgeot and Mawile and Kangaskhan. And I think you're looking back at with shit co shit color glasses, because a lot of the reason that a lot of those Pokemon get hyped these days was because they had really good Megas. No one gave a damn about Kangaskhan or Mawile or Sableye until their Megas made them good. Yeah, they got rid of gems beside the normal gem. Okay. And... Did that... I, I agree with that. But it was a necessary sacrifice. I would say... For the meaningful rebalancing that was done. Now, you know, may maybe I would prefer to not give so much to Charizard. Charizard... But Charizard showing... Came before Megas. And came after Megas. You know, getting rid of Megas did not stop them from shilling Charizard. They made Gigantamax Charizard, which was... The same thing, but dumber. Sure, but here's the thing, is that... Those are things that they could have fixed if they had kept making more Megas. The problem was not the concept of Megas, it was the execution. Which is very different from gimmicks that are stupid on their face. Like the poop clouds. Which is the only thing I will ever call Dynamax without having to grit my teeth. Okay. Yes! I'm right and you're wrong. <laughs> I'll cop to that. Okay. So, we got a bit more Fogiston back. What else? There was a target around there. That makes me want to... Check around water is an okay way to look for wilds, but I don't know. Well, it... You're one to talk. Well, it... It's very, very shonen. That's what I'll say. That the comparisons made to Digimon were not groundless. And I don't have a personal problem with that. But it is different. But you can dislike them for their gameplay implementation or even the basic idea. But to dislike them because they quote unquote hurt Pokemon is playing right into the hands of their cynically corporate strategy. investigate this. Oh, and excuse me? Hello? It's just a random leisurely driftings. Okay. I didn't think we'd enter a random 
trainerless challenge. Float target spot, rift spot, orb spot, weeping. Okay, let's do this thing. It's only got B and A though. Huh. All right. Add the spirit weight, increase your challenge score. But what I'm saying is that it was not part of their original design idea for Megas to hurt Pokemon. Because it was always, originally, when it was the Generations gimmick, the point is, it symbolized the bond of the Pokemon and Trainer. And to be entirely honest, even if you do accept the idea that, okay, it hurts Pokemon, that does not necessarily rule out the idea that, oh, it's a representation of the bond between Trainer and Pokemon. Because, you know, accepting pain for the sake of a mutually agreed on goal is, you know, very emblematic of trust. The two things are not necessarily mutually exclusive. You know, you know getting into fights is something that inherently hurts. But, again, that ignores the fact that it wasn't an original part of the plan. It's something they changed post hoc to clear the way for their new strategy of just new gimmicks every generation, completely discarding the old ones. Yeah. And what would it mean if someone was so important to you that you, that you unhinged your jaw for them? Wait, what? Huh? Did I take the wrong path? Okay, that's weird. I feel like something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. I don't know. Is it just about getting everything before the challenge ends, or...? What do you mean, no? Elaborate on that. This is a weirdly long challenge, and I... Huh. Got 90 out of 91. Okay, that's actually infuriating. Huh. Well, if you refuse to if you refuse to engage with the premises of the conversation, I'm not sure how far we can really take this. Wait, power particles within 40 seconds. I don't imagine that there is anything to get by getting every single one, but I can't leave that in dignity. Can't accept that. Okay, well. Start this challenge. Let's get every single one. So that teleport was bizarre. That's a long challenge, too. I feel like I'm gonna have to understand the right position to be in or something. At least it's even with the lag, it's knowing when I get the targets, which is good. Come on. Uh, this would probably be easier with a Kaholasaurus than Milani herself. Whatever. And now it's raining. She even commented on the rain. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Oh, well, I... Clearly, there seems to have been a correct path and an incorrect path, maybe? I feel like I should try going left instead and see what happens. It's clearly the side we were on determined where we went just now. I'm wondering what difference would be made. There's a teleport around here. Hmm. This is legitimately kind of strange. Whatever. I honestly would imagine that one of these is going to be sort of a right path and the other a wrong path. I don't know. It's a strange situation. But when is the teleport coming? That's my question. Hmm. Well, it, if we mess it up, the only thing to do is to try again. 
Because I'll be damned. I don't know exactly what's going on here. So the teleport just... Okay, well, we got them all this time. But I wonder what's going on with the divergence in path. It's actually quite strange. Okay. Let's go left this time and see what difference is made, if any. You got what? I'm worried. If you've discovered something, I don't know whether that's good or not. I will cop to always being a little bit afraid of you. Oh, okay. Well, it... I didn't try to skip the left, so I'm not sure how or why that happened. And is rain guaranteed around here or something? I think I might be slightly mistiming some of the target bites. Maybe. The question is whether 91 is going to be the total number or not, because there is a meaningful possibility of it. It's a bit of difference. So what if I went over here instead? So this is different. It is a different path. Hmm, and... Okay, so sometimes it lags and it looks like I don't buy that target. But the point total is just delayed. Huh. So I guess the right path is the correct path, maybe? This is... Legitimately rather strange. Whatever. Huh. Okay. It seems that the right path is correct. But... Okay, and it's still 91. I... We got all 91 one time. I don't feel like solving this math equation. I'll live. Hmm. Either way... I'm at a loss as to where the remaining local legends could be. Because there's one that's somewhere around Wheatsley Hill, so I could just go around doing environmental puzzles or something, but the final one, God knows where. I could. I'm not going to. <laughs> I have other things to do with my time. <laughs> More valuable? I don't know. But other things. Okay. So, we got Reputation. Go to the totem pole. Supply notices. Some bounties. Hmm. Grain fruit. Cacahuatl. Soaring quest succulent. Then get a good amount from the bounties as well as final bit of exploration and Kinich's Travel quests. Let us accept our bounties this week, then. So, we the Ancestral Temple. It's the riverbank of Amayalka Waters. Where the mountains of Tepeyakak rise. I've seen these ones already. Okay. Let's go over. Find these. That power resistance decreased. So, it seems as if. And to be fair, I think the other ones are this way too, that the buff they have is, buff and debuff they have is consistent, maybe. Either way, we can use the good old Orlokino team. Go back. Thank you. Cool. Alright, so of course we always go on maximum difficulty. As one does. Let's make something beautiful happen. Hmm. You Honestly, you're always going to go for Perilous because it gives you the best ratio of juices to points. Because it's 1 to 80, 1 to 50, 1 to 40. Because once you get to max reputation, you can't do these bounties anymore. Which means if you want to max out your gain... Gotta be kinda 
Not ruthless, but gotta go for the difficult options all the time, otherwise you'll be wasting your stuff. Main thing is kill the ones around it, otherwise it will heal itself back up. And one, two, three. Oh my goodness. Alright. Two, three, four, goodbye. Okay. And you de aggroed, nice. Okay. Next one is invulnerability to crowd damage, animal resistance decreased. I also realized that I could probably use the Zhao team on the Polychrome Tristars over there. I honestly kind of forgot, forgot that I had a usable Zhao team. Okay. Also, Fezli team, or just any kind of freeze team, would work. We could just get her out on the water. Honestly, the silliest way to do it would just be putting in Ganyu. We'll do that. The na oh, and right, that's right, Ganyu's dead. I thought she would have come back on her own. Rest in peace, Ganyu. Not for a while. Okay. Ganyu is, unfortunately, being brought back from the land of the dead to fight my battles for me. Poor her. I'll never change. So... One more of those to go for perilous as usual. Hmm. The fact that artifact juices are a lot more common now is nice because it's going to help me level up old characters' artifacts, but we can just immediately break those down. Come on. Thank you. Come on. We need to get you to come over here. Ideally, come on. How are you gonna come over on a lands? Okay, come on. Uh, uh, uh. Please. Yeah, this may have not been the way to do it. If I want to do a strategy where I just keep them in place and knock them off into the water, I would have been better off trying to use Kaya for this. Oh, come on. Thought I'd be able to tank that. And... Yep! Okay, there we go. All I had to do is just use Chevy's full combo. Alright. Final one is something using ammo. That'd be fair. It's single target. Should just use Skara. For the sake of being able to use him for something. Come on. You... You, you, and you. Okay. What weapon does Scar have on him right now? Solar Pearl is not worth using. You can have Scarred back for now. Final bounty is right over here. Okay. So my question is, how many more dailies am I going to have to do for... I mean, weeklies will have to do for Signs of the Canopy now. With exploration, that final quest also helping me get more... See what happens. Come on. Let me get this back before that fight, so... Oh, well, you... Okay. Uninterested, it seems. Alright. Go for Perilous as usual. And the Yunkasaurs are still here. Well, not for long. Okay, cool. Get everyone there. Okay, hit. And start. Hitting you down. Okay. Ah, we even got some swirls in here. Exciting. And juggle you. The fact that that team's probably the best in the game at just juggling enemies is a lot of fun. Honestly, I might want to try that on the Capybara, maybe. So what that means is you can get Wheatsall and Campground Companions Connection. So with a bit more exploration and the Keenich quest, that means 
We need to do one bounty and one supply notice for them. Get them to in range a maximum with mo the most efficiency possible. And then I think I can probably get around that same spot for Children of Echoes. But it really is all about maximum efficiency, especially since they would unlock... Getting all three to maximum would unlock the treasure compass for not one. Well, it's a recipe, but it's not too much difference there. Just see, where am I here? That, next week, that's 400 more. For that, 600. Yeah, I should be able to get all of them to maximum by basically the start of next patch cycle. It's not going to be a problem at all. Okay. In that case, we got weekly bosses, we got Spiral Abyss. Got a bunch of things I could be spending my time doing. So we'll do those bosses because, spoiler alert, hope Mahoyo isn't listening, but... For whatever reason, they decided that Shilinen would use Skaramats. It's actually kind of frightening how few characters actually use Arlequino's mats. It makes me wonder, among other things, how long they're going to wait for a new weekly boss, because if Mavuika is presumably 5.3, because among other things, that's when the Archon Quest is presumably going to end, that's what the dev said. That would make sense for a new weekly boss, but I don't know. Some people still think that they were lying when they said that there would be no new Archon Quest in 5.2, which would be interesting. It honestly would not even surprise me all that much. It would be a pretty fun bait and switch. Okay, got down and one, two, I okay. Bye. One, oh well, whatever. Come on. We will. Oh, come on. One, two. Bonnie is not very good at actually reliably contacting him. Okay. Alright. Well, well, Emily to kinda do that then. Kinda. Yeah, because Milani would be great at knocking him down if it worked so hard for her to literally stay in contact with his body. Because it seems like his hurt box and his actual sort of geometry and you know, what actually counts in terms of making sure Long Milani get her wave momentum stacks is different. And what do you know? Literally zero fire this time. That is certainly a choice. Alright, and that's one of them. And, uh, uh, if I'd been a bit faster, could have made that work. Whatever. Come on. Thank you. Alright. Dodge again. Please. Come on. Dodge. And the iframes there were very generous. Thank you. Back, and that's another shot. Should be able to... Hit in two shots is basically what you need. And three. Yep, so now we've got this. We just gotta put down. The lantern, and we're more or less good to go. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Alright. Should be good here. Nice. Now we just got... These. Oh, no. One more. And it can't reach up, but it can still hit. Alright, there we are. Cool. Ah. Thank you. Put this down. And I would think Milani should be able to... She's just fine here. Damage is a bit less than I expected, but it's because I didn't grit that down. Alright. So in that case, collect that, move on to the next fight, get two of the mirrors. 
It's nothing useful. That's maybe good. Hmm. Of course, I am in the position where I'm throwing away relatively good pieces just due to lack of room. Two of those. We are getting a lot of mileage out of those old bosses. Not necessarily a bad thing, just unexpected. Okay. Come on. Now it's up up. Whale is going to be annoying with this team. That is true. Well, alright. Here we are. On to the funny whale. I mean, on to op -ep, op -ep. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's attack anyway, so it would not be useful for me in any meaningful way, shape, or form. We get Cinder City buff from Kachina. And put this down here. Right, nice. Alright, good stuff. And. Should be good now here. And I. Is it connection that was making it hard for me to get stacks? Or. What? Come on. That didn't work. Never mind. That didn't crit? Okay, I. Never mind. It's bad news today, as always, then. One. Two. Yeah, it's definitely just an issue with a really weird hitbox. And connection. It raises the question of what I'm meaningfully supposed to be pinning her up against then. That doesn't work, and this doesn't work, and... Good lord. Oh, whatever. Come on, come on. Here we go. Bite all of you. Keep on biting. Now for here, relatively close. Okay, come on. And one more bite. We're chilling. Come on. Okay. Thank you. Shit. Again. One, two, three, four. Hit and. Oh, goodness. One, two, three. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever. So we could go for a couple hits there, but. You know, this team is understandably not ideal for the situation. Come on. Get the Fire on everyone. Come on. Right and... Uh, you weren't keeping up fast enough. That's the thing. Rather annoying. Come on. One, two, three. Right. That will liberate you. Take. Get that back. And again, hope for the gig, vaporize damage, and we're free. Nice. Okay. Let some of those cool down then. Okay. Down, down, and... Nice. I, okay. Come on, crystallize. Here we are. And put that down. Try that, and... Mm, we can get a few hits in, but... I... Uh, bad news. Ooh, good crit. I... Uh, oh, whatever. But half health being taken out by a single hit is... Never bad performance. Okay, I... Of course you're in the way. Three and... Fight! My goodness. It... Definitely had a bit of a Eula paradigm with her design, but... The difference is that she's good and usable. And that just one big hit, being able to vaporize definitely helps. So it's normal and Nave. But Nave with no healing is going to be hell. Whatever. I've endured worse in my short life. So, we'll heal up. Not the stupid Narwhal. Stupid. Go back to France. Okay. Mew in France. It really is just. 
kind of amusing that one of the regions is literally just France. Every now and then you do have to stop and give it some thought. Okay, okay, okay. It doesn't just surprise me how long I've been farming the same bosses. Because they've just kept giving more characters that Skara needs. It's honestly that it's only been those four and that they haven't introduced. It doesn't look like a new one is really coming anywhere on the horizon. Thanks. And I... Well, alright. Hmm. Come on. Oh, well, I, I did not iframe that correctly. Thank you. I... This could be worse. Hmm. Alright. Just come over here. I beg of you. Thanks, I... Alright. One, two, three, two, three, and... Well, that didn't hit a single person. Okay. Maybe, maybe this just isn't my time. And are you gonna come up in the middle? You are going to come up in the middle, so... Alright. Could just send you down here. And that... Actually a pretty decent time for that. Rez is not helping me, but... Never really the idea anyway. Alright. Come on. I probably did not need to do that right then. Luckily, spends an eternity eating me anyway, so... Alright. Come on. Thank you. Down there, and... One, two, three, fight! One, two, three, fight! And I... I did not need to do that at the moment. Alright. So that means Numusia. Okay. Cool. Big thing is. This down. Put you down. Come on, Crystal has that. And that down. And we should be able to get good Milani damage. I hope. You know, it's as good as this is ever going to get. Thanks, and I... Alright. Maybe... Maybe it is over for me. Yeah. Luckily, I'm not gonna have to run this specific team much longer. Emily will be free soon. I guess I could at least run Keenich instead. Relatively soon. One more week of this nightmare. Eventually, it will eat me. Again. That'll be nice. It's actually pretty easy to unthink through. Two, three, five, and... I mean, it does deal an okay amount of damage. But it... It's very importantly not the intended use case or situation. <sighs> it's like pulling teeth. It's funny because I don't imagine that this thing has teeth. Come on. Thanks, and... Okay, there we are. Put you down. One, two, three... And, uh... Burning is kind of going. You know, it... And, of course, the light's still streaming down. Okay. A couple more of these. That is not particularly good. Actually, it could maybe be good for Leo. I don't know. Just a couple more. Thank you. Cool. It's time to heal up and fight the knave. Which for this team, again, who knows how well that is going to go. Throw an artifact juice. That does like candy is still just a rare Mahoyo W. But of course, to get new people to come in, you do need to provide some way to catch up, so. 
It was the cast just gets bigger and bigger, and the ad modes like theater. It's definitely part of why they made a new world level too. All right. The last boss of the week, and what is going on with my? The game is crashing. Maybe. Not good. Bad news. It's going to turn out that finally got blocked for being Chinese or something. We out of bandwidth. What is going on here? It's stuck on Anima. Guys, has Mondstadt update. Uh, game you know worky. Maybe it's time to just for force quit? Yeah. Okay. Reboot this thing. Okay. Yay! Okay. Let's boot this back up. Boot this back up. And we should be chilling. I can go and have a shark eat our Lakino. Also, I should be able to completely catch up with TCG character card proficiency this patch too, because let's make a new team for... So I believe all the cards I'm currently using are eight, so two more games out of the four tavern games this week, and that should be... Max, and that's two more games with a new one, and then next week and the week after that would be final. So it did teleport us. I wonder what went wrong then. Okay. Either way, get two for the new deck of three this week, and then four the week after that, four the week after that, and that's ten. At which point, everything will be max proficiency. Just need to think about it. It's also interesting that this does seem to be slightly bigger. At least this part is slightly bigger. Again, it really does confirm that the world is not quote-unquote to scale. But what? Okay. Come on. Just... Okay, we got crystallized up. Let's put you down and on. And you're kidding. Thanks. You can jump that, which is funny. Uh, whatever. And hit. Right. Mm. Keep on going and... Mm. Uh. Thanks. The nice thing is that some of these characters can't kill themselves. It is, of course, different from being able to kill others and would be real hard to make work with. Sound of life and all, but eh, whatever. One last, or that does not necessarily work. Come on, dodge! I, oh well, whatever. We need to heal up. Sound of life off a couple of you. Maybe some grilled tiger fish. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. Bond of life is gone. Nice. Dodge. And thanks. Okay. Hmm. Did not quite work. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, oh alright. Don't like that. Thank you. We are the bond of life and news. Hmm. That means mint jelly. Let me switch over to Emily. We can... There we are. Nice. And one, two, three. It's honestly really funny if it how reliant I'm on food in this fight. It's amusing. Okay, and that's all for that part. Okay. Gotta try to not die. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dia Shaped Meat Shield. And put this down and crystallize. Nice and did we get our fab or I can't tell. And right, um, and well, never mind. Thanks. All right. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite work. 
And without the vaporize, that also did not a thing. Okay. I do a thing, so well we're gonna get the turbo truly over value. Answer is probably not. Uh, let us feed you more jelly. Thank you. Alright. Know it. Whatever works. And, oh, this is the edge of the arena. It hasn't really ever been all that important to me. Okay. Alright. Well, it's one way for things to work. This is dry braised salted fish. It has been a while since I ever used food for much of anything. And that actual event. Dodge of the. Well, never mind. Thanks. Stop you in your tracks. Don't think we need to actually fix that final one. So, we got the boost. And oh goodness, good damage now. But, and finally. Quench that resin, and there we are. Okay. It's this week's bosses. Oh, we got three drops. Feels good, especially since it's a pretty hard one. Also, given that all the weekly bosses are basically around, quote unquote. We're level 7 level. But Devalon going up past them because he is in world instead of in a weekly domain. Hmm. Well, that's going to work out in practice. Whether he has any kind of meaningfully better drops, I would imagine not. I don't know. I've already fought, I mean, Andrew, I've already fought Andrew based enough times to have it in Mats get every single character he uses Mats at 10 10 10 if I had the crowns and Mats for it and Mora, but. So I'm not going to fight him again, but still. I guess that means that the fight could actually maybe be interesting, though. Hmm. Well, I... Let's go and... can run that once. I may as well. After that, I think I'll do Abyss. Well, I also got... I'm going to try the Zhao team on. The local legends, too. It's an idea. <laughs> Kovo runs in Milani's talent domain. She is good enough that I would like to get her to 999 eventually. A little clunky, but... That is part of what keeps her from being... A true Nuviat upgrade, especially in single target. Right. Don't need Dia. We'll put in Kachina. Right. Get that. Fluid hmm. Avatars of Lava. Right now. Yeah, she's close. This boss is definitely went a far away. Just all the things have been discounted. Well, and Overflow should help with that too. So she'll be at 10 before I get Keen H, because I'll be getting him. Oh. A week from this Sunday. Oh, wait, I... I completely forgot to bring the game back on. That Arlequino fight was completely invisible. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's comical. Okay. No, it... Okay. One, two, three, right. Oh, good damage. And... Fight again, and... Huh? Okay. That's just a connection thing. Uh, okay. So... It's chilling a bit. Oh, lucky drop. Two gods of contention. Okay. So. Do this again. This down again. And one, two, three. Right. One, two, three. 
Right, one, two, three, and well, all right. Right, okay. Got very close to death, but not all the way there. All right. At least I remember before I did Abyss. That would be annoying. Forgot to put video back on before Abyss. Okay, cool. So in that case... Two local legends. Kasiho will be my running team. Strong with Dia Milani, but instead of Fiorina, it'll be Tinari. Because you have to break the shield and then kill Kasiho, which is different and tough. Switch you out, put it in. It's your Dendro shield break over there. Should we actually remember to switch this time? Thank you, okay. All right then. Should put my crit food back on and oh, well, I... My question is, will the rain stop when we get close enough? Actually, what I wanna see is, will you self-apply Electro Charge now that the rain is here? Self-blooming. This is interesting. Come on. Come on. Once you stop, we're chilling. Lots of hits. There you are, and. Yep, you are. Bloom quick and self applying electro charge. At least a little. But it's not breaking your shield. That's the interesting part. So, there isn't really a great way to do this while it's still raining. That kind of prevents a Milani strategy from working all that well. I think I can imagine would be to wait the rain out. Okay. What is this? Breath of the Wild? Very, very Breath of the Wild. Okay. And finally, the sun is back out and we can do things as intended. Right. <clears throat> it's Hydro Potion and Crit Food to get it down as low as possible. And then just Teenery Shots to activate the shield, doing lots of low damage hits. Only the opposite of what you want to do, but the final achievement requires activating it. Shield breaking shield without taking damage from the shield. Another deal look stake. Okay. Alright, there we go. How exciting. It's like this. One, two, three. Right, and up. Two, three. Right, one, two, three. Right, and. Hit, hit. Nice, and, well, and that did good damage. Real nice damage, and also that did not hit, which is even better. Two, three, right, one, two, three, right, two, three, and... Is it raining again? You have got to be kidding me. This is a rather unpleasant way for the fight to unfold. What that does mean is that I just don't need to bother with Dia. Given that I'm not actually trying to break down its shield before... Well, break it down before the shield pops up, it's actually okay. But... It's amusing that after I went out of my way to try and make Rain not become a factor in the fight, it comes back anyway. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on. And I thought that would keep me free, well, it just... Actually disappears after long enough, which surprises me. Stop, and that's our wave momentum. Right, one, two, three. Right again, one, two, three. Right, and well, I. Two, three, right. One, two, three, and well. We need that shield back. And of course, we're doing 
Not again. Wait, you're not spinning. What even just... Okay. Network issue. Annoying. Come on, come on. Stop already. That needs one time. Two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. And now, okay. Huh. Thanks. Good damage. We are getting more or less where I want to be. One, two, three. And make sure you. This is probably how I want to do it. It's funny that anyone can pick up the floater, even though it's only useful for some characters, and that is more or less where I want to be. Make sure we don't get hit. It means hitting you from as far away as possible, actually. So the health bar goes off screen. That's a surefire way to make sure we don't get hit. Others attacks. That's good. Okay. We stay away. Why are the turtle shells stopping? Weird issue to have. Oh, get away, so oh, that disappears. Two, three. And now it's broken! Good news. Now we can handle this as intended. Another hit should do it. And one more, one more. Right, intercept! And that's the final achievement. Thank you, Milani. Thank you, TNA. Thank you, Zongli. Thank you, Dio. Thank you, six chunks of raw meat. Okay. Defeat Castillo after the Thunderthorn shield has been formed and without any character having been hit by the shield's reflected attacks. I think becoming a battle in the rain was weirdly climactic. So in that case, have to be that Zhao team. Fiorina, Zhao. Thank you! The fact that it rained the first time I tried that today, then I moved the time forward to try to get rid of the rain, and then it worked. And then halfway through the, through the fight, the rain started back up again, which was... <laughs> there really was no escaping it. It was rather funny to see it play out in practice, but... My goal right now is going to be the final achievement for Tri-Stars, which means I used a new Viet team last time. I want to see how much better my Furina Zhao team would do, if it would do any better. I could technically put try putting Atlas on Zhao Nim because it's got more attack. But given that I don't think we're going to get a lot of particles from them... Not sure how much I can afford to risk that. Also, Deathmatch is also going to give me more defense here, which might actually be what I want. Okay. The one thing with this team is that there isn't going to be a great way for me to apply Hydro to Pyro Guy, but we'll see how that shakes out. Hmm. Go back to Wheatsley. There's also another puzzle around here. Should have one of the local legends. I don't know where it is. I don't particularly want to at the moment. So let us... Just want to see if Furina's... Little... Thorns can deal. Yep, they can't hit that. Which is what I expected, but still. And I, oh my goodness, I actually... I did not want it, want her to break them down that quickly. Huh. It said, the team's good, but it doesn't have great crowd control, is the thing. Hmm. We need that pyro swirled so that I can actually get damage on... Thanks. Take that. Uh, and make sure if Irina gets many particles we can give her. It's gonna have to be Animo. I wanna keep these guys around a battery, but that's life. Come on, come on. Thank you. Come on. Try that again. 
Thank you. One more. One more. Let's heal up real quick, but... Breaking all those shields is... Probably going to be a fool's errand. Maybe. So... Let's go back and try that one more miserable time. Pick up these chrysanthemums for the eventual shielman. Hmm. To break the shields. What I could... Oh, but they're totally immune to crowd control. Well, they're like this is the thing. Come on. Come on. Make sure we know who to break. And to be fair... I might be in a good position while I'm still able to use a catalyst to swirl. Now we got Cryo on. Electro is the thing. And that's a lot easier said than done. Come on. You're not close enough. Get over here. And... Well, that actually worked quite well. Just need to see how we can get you to... You can't, really. I cannot... Uh, thanks, and... Well, actually... One... Two, and... Thanks. Just gotta see how we can try to get them in the right place. But when are you going to bring your shield back is the question. Uh, and also, this is not actually all that much better. It's not as good as the new Viet team, anyway. That's sad. Well, whatever. It was probably a bit inevitable. It... I expected so much from you. Well, whatever. It's not the first time in my life I've been disappointed, and it certainly will not be the last. That means is... Gotta put... Newbie Fury back in. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's the rule. Team is good if it contains a ship. This team has no ship in it, and that's why it's weak. Or at least not as great. For just mowing down waves of trash. Actually, one better for mowing down waves of trash would probably be... Other one. Zhao team. Because of its pure AoE, but... If you just went full newbie at spin to win... Don't imagine there would actually be much of a difference. Alright, let's try this one more time. This is probably going to be the hardest achievement out of all the local legend ones from this patch in general. There's no way to really cheese or brute for this. force this. It's just an element check and then a DPS check. Healing check, defense check. God knows what. The big thing is that I don't have to kill Fossily first. But all the others are so annoying. And the range such an issue. That isn't really all that much consolation, if any, at all. Come on. Main thing is, we can dodge. Go behind you. Got that. Now we gotta figure out how to swirl. The right shield on the right person. But, the fact that the skirmishers are a hard element check is what makes them so tough. It's not just a matter of elements that react, it's specific elements that react. Come on, I... Uh, thanks, alright, and... Oh, it's over, it's so over. It's already over. <laughs> we need to retry this because the wrong thing got scrolled. Without... Electro, I do not have a way to break. Without Craw, I do not have a way to break. That shield. But that is an aggravate, which is funny to me. Alright. So we will back up slightly because they're actually rather overzealous about resetting their positions. And try this garbage one more time. Have fun! Okay. Our Feather Quan collected the plenty. That's the night went over there. Roach Kanawan. 
geography of this place is pretty cool. Put it up. Thank you. Two, three, one. Okay. Make sure everyone gets in the right spot. Come on. We need Hammer Guy to come on. Get behind is rather annoying. How do I get everyone in the right spot? The answer is you don't. Whatever. Come on. I Ooh, okay. Can I? One, two. I. Ooh, I think we kind of did it. Did I? Oh, just go in the right spot, please. Thank you. And now we can throw all of you in here. Thank you. I. What? Oh, good God. And of course, connection is the issue here now. Come on. I really need to just pay for more bandwidth. Thanks. I. Uh, what? What in the god damn? We need those and make sure they don't go away. Sue's got the most damage on them. This is going to be the definition of slow and steady. It doesn't help that they're definitely actively watching something on Netflix right now. Oh, good god. Come on. Come on. Make sure I hit the right person at the right time. And oh, you got swirl. That's funny. Okay, and. Wait, what in the. You died mid burst. The fact that it can even happen is. a literal garbage. The really annoying thing is that. you would be hard pressed to be able to get Electro Guy and Cryo Guy close enough to each other that you can break cry Electro Shield with Cryo without having Pyro Guy just jump away out of reach. That's what's really bothersome about all this. Puzzle is very tough. It's one dead. Shun by Muyo. Come on. Thanks. Give me more. Try this again. You know, it, it's a hard enough fight without having to deal with the shields being the way they are. Now, Electro Guy is definitely the one you want to kill first, just in general, because he's the only one whose shield is not required to break any other element. You always yeah. need Hydro, Hydro, presumably. That's the one shield that doesn't get broke doesn't get broken by another element. <laughs> Come on. I uh, to get you all in the right places. Agony. But it can't have the wrong people in, but you stay doing your stupid Walking spray for so long, it's actually vile. Okay. Thanks, you. Cool, uh, alright. What in the- alright? We got everyone now, I guess. So, let's throw everyone here. Thanks. I think Vasily should be in a position. Just gotta make sure we hit everyone somewhat equally. Thanks. Beat this down. Here we are. It, it's pretty even. And... No more Kanab is getting less of the hurt than I might like. Okay. Thanks. I, mm, no Frozen, though. Hmm. Who is gonna get hit and where? So everyone gets everything back, we can try this again. Send that back to... There's new Viet in terms of... I guess we can make that work, but... Main thing is... Make your shields down quickly, we need to... Vaporize on his... Okay, cool. Ugh. Get you back up. I... Come on. Please. Dodge. I... Of course... The distance that they maintain from each other is... Probably the toughest part of this whole situation. 
Thanks. Swirl and wait. What? I Huh? Never never mind. How did that absorb the wrong thing? That's actually really weird. Okay. Huh. Come on. Come on. Oh, I, I guess I could just hit a bunch of others who aren't broken down right now to sort of even the score a little. I don't even know is the thing. And then focus on Sirovenko and then kill the rest? I don't... I just don't even know at this point. <laughs> this is legitimate torture. Gotta wait for them to get their shields back and then take out the ice shield. And where is your pyro shield? Come on. Doing this with network issues is the worst part of the whole sandwich. Okay. I mean, in theory, I can just try hitting you through, but I don't have a good way to shred is the thing. Dodge. Thanks. Okay, now we can presumably... Come on. Dodge. And I... Okay. Dodge. I... Cool. That actually might do me some good. If I'm just trying to hit Sirovenko, which is the case. Okay. Swirl that and put that down. Even the score a little. This should be good enough to take most of them out at the same time now. Come on. Thanks, I... What in the... What?! I didn't even think you could go for three at once. That's nonsense. Whatever. Either way, I... This shouldn't be horrible. We can try this. But I think I'm gonna just try to kill off Nuviat before any of this crap commences. It... Nevertheless, I am glad that they put in a challenge that is just unreservedly very difficult in this game. Just no qualifications, it's hard. What? Huh? That... I guess I just wait a minute and a half. Because... <sighs> They're basically as close as things are gonna get, but... It's a vile hit. Okay. Gotta survive for 50 more seconds. You know, I imagine I can do that, but... It's the waiting game. Just doing this on World Level 9 with even a good team... It's that demanding of an achievement. Which... I like. You know, because you have to have a team suited for the challenge. And beyond that, you have to be good with positioning, know their mechanics. Have the durability, have the damage. Okay, ten more seconds of this. It's not like I'm stalling out the clock, it's... Uh, but of course, Kaze needs to get his energy back, too. Well, it... I don't know. Does he? All I really need is him have enough health to survive being swirled. I'll survive putting a swirl on. Which, two more of the snakes will heal him to full. Get everyone to full. Watch behind you. Yeah, I can't believe it took me that long to realize that they... Little years to realize that they didn't really have any meaningful amount of tracking. It's funny. This... This is now, now, now or never. Well, I thought it'd be. Come on. It was not. It could have been. It was a good opportunity, but we'll see if it comes back. No, I definitely want a bit more healing. 
just to make sure they all get in a relatively close location. This is probably as good as things are gonna get then. I what in what? Go to hell. That's what? And now I don't have a way to heal. Well, I do. It's just a really stupid way to heal. <sighs> and that's two of these stupid bastards dead in the ground. But without... You can't really fit in hard defense on this team. There's really no place for it. There's really no place for hard defense on any team that has the tools to deal with... Fucking kill yourself. They just reset if you go that long without dealing damage to them? I legitimately... I'd like to say I've lost interest in this fight, but I haven't. I'm that buck broken. But it... Really? Main thing is... I may as well be using crit food for this. There's no reason not to be. <laughs> I was really just shooting myself in the foot by not doing it in. Just see. But the damage food is needed. Crit food would be nice too. The big thing is, should wait until I've got them all opened up, so to speak, to use it. Okay. Well, that was a very nice attempt that went rather badly at the end. It, it's got to be the hardest challenge in the game right now. There's really no way around that. It's just, what competition does it meaningfully have? One thing is that you can just strafe that, but... Gotta make sure that everyone gets in. Same general location. But I... Range on that is vile. And they actually nerfed the Skirmisher's application this patch just because... This challenge would be alright impossible otherwise. Come on. Thanks. I uh, never mind. Okay, cool. So we broke you down mostly, but we need to figure out a way to dodge. I uh, okay. Really, really. I, mean, I could just heal him, but uh really? Straight shot deals thirty thousand damage. That's just legitimately beyond anything sensible. Okay. What? Okay. Not if you're too far away. Okay. Hmm. But it... Part of it's being on Ethernet most of the day for job stuff. Part of it is undeniably... Just the fact that they're doing streaming service stuff right now. And that took a while to get back. Annoying. And no particles from that? It's legitimately quite weird. Come on. But it. He is, at least in theory, the best crowd control character, period. So in that case, why is. It's so like this? Uh. Whatever. Okay, I... Thanks, and that should break all of you. Nice, I... Swirl. Thanks. Baiju. And that's... Time for the food. Let's make this happen. 
Streaming essential oil. Deal stakes. For anything this vile, I need to use this unapologetically. I cannot afford to be even remotely repentant about using every single advantage at hand. Is that... Oh, well, the big thing is... Cannot kill Vasily this quick. It, how did that hit me? No, seriously, how'd that hit me? Whatever. I... Okay. Thanks. I... Well... Huh. Make sure I hit the right guy. So Sudoranko's taking the lease. That seems to be more common than I might like. Hmm, I... Fearing his little dudes will go away soon, so... That's fine. i make sure I... Heal myself back up to full before something terrible happens. Alright. Come on. I need to get that then. Get a swirl. Pyro onto the guy I want to swirl Pyro on is another question. Come on. That the lag on damage is what really irks me there, but I come on. Thank you. Thanks! Alright, and Ooh, we broke that successfully. You're not interested in hitting Vasily at all. Okay. Cool. Thanks. And hit. Hit and gotta hit you now. Not interested in hitting them at all. Uh, no, no Mokunov. Only Sidoranko. I. No, we screwed that up badly. I literally forgot which one was which. I'm so cooked. I mean, to be fair, it's not as if their names have anything to do with what they actually do. But it... One is definitely a lot weaker than the others, that's the thing. Why is this so hard? Okay. No Mokanov is Electro. Sudorenko is Cryo. And Vasily is easy to remember. Because he's the odd one out. He's the tiny one. And also the one who's hardest to chase down. The others are easier to mix up than I might like. Okay. <sighs> It's just... You know, this isn't all that much of an Ayaka check. But it's about as close as they could really get to an Ayaka check. Especially these days. It's just... This permafreeze is... Very plainly the best way to deal with their... Stupid garbage. And, well... Somehow I thought I would survive. Honest to God... I'd say maybe I should put my shield up with Baiju before that, but that shield isn't stopping shit. Okay. Well, that's what happens when there's only one of them. You don't get your sacrificial procs. Come on. I just... Ugh. It might be a server ping issue. I don't know. Well, in that case, time to bash my head against a wall again. Uh, why? And it really is just a sort of. You got to wonder how they can top this. This Rocky Avildsen was arguably, quote unquote. The thing even harder than this. But, you know, there's only so far they can go. Okay. It's just 
This is as good as we can probably get. Grouping them up, but... Ah. Uh, dodge it. Okay. You're gonna stop. No, you've stopped! And I... Really? It didn't swirl onto... Swirling the crowd is just too hard. Very least, it... And the most important thing is making sure that Cryo and Electro are close to each other because this is cause you are always going to absorb Pyro, no matter what you do. You could have a candle on the other side of the continent, as someone once said, and you'd still end up swirling Pyro instead of water at your feet. Come on. The only way to ensure we actually get them all grouped up together is to stay by Vasily. Thanks. Uh, thanks. All right. I think I did it. I think I did it. I. Come on. I, well, I. The infinite poise. Infinite poise. While their shield is up. Is the worst part of it. It. You need crowd control for this fight, but until you've gotten them fully. Until you've gotten their shields broken, you can't use crowd control. Especially annoying given that crowd control would be useful for getting them grouped up to break their shields in the first place, and it's just. You could try running a really stupid Burgeon team. Because that would allow you to break all their shields. Burgeon with Cryo, some sort of fridge Burgeon team, but... Again, the joke writes itself. The only way I'm going to have the damage to pull this off is... Doing it like this. Okay. Uh, the real question is, how are we going to get everyone in the same spot? Come on. Oh, and... Uh, need... Lightning on a guy who... Caught... What?! I swear to god that the... <laughs> the ping must have had something to do with running out of stamina there. Oh, hmm. Even if Shion doesn't have... Actually, having Geo would mean she would have Sun Shields, which would probably be about as useful as these ones anyway. But... At least having Shion and the team would allow me to... Hopefully do more damage. Whatever. Doesn't mean that much. Okay. Try this another time. Really is my absolute nightmare. Okay. Hmm. But it's you have to make sure. Crowd guy isn't spraying, and then find a way to break all the shields. So honestly, this might be the best place to do it if I can ensure that I can get them in one spot. Vasily is, I wouldn't imagine, going to be particularly interested in actually getting over here. At least we can. What's a spot where I can actually group you up? Oh, Hajime Mouse sent you Viper Ash VT. Thank you for the follow. I am... S Wait! How did you die there? You're kidding me. I peel my eyes away for one second and Baju gets tapped. I hate it here. How are you doing, though? As you can see, I'm suffering against some of the new local legends. If you're familiar with them in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it's one. Give me more protocols. More particles. Connection's not great either. Bandwidth is 
hurting me too. Uh, come on. Did I even get particles from that, or...? Okay, just lagged horribly. Never mind. And that isn't helping matters. Okay, well, I've got to fight them out in the field, because... Without a wide open area, I can't herd them towards each other at all. But... Hmm. Well, it... And that's not good, though. Maybe finding them in rain would be good for... Anything but this. But, if it's raining, <laughs> I can't use Pyro to break Chronicast Shield now, can I? No. First time I've seen that part. That looks a bit like some desert. Geography, actually. Huh. Big floating rocks are cool, but... I imagine they're Fulgis related to like the Upper Sanctum. And the ore is gone now. Okay. Now well, we're gonna make sure we have the right people in the right place. Come on, come on. Thank you. Just cryo on. Electro. Should actually do a sort of prime the pump for breaking all the shields by partially breaking. Nomokanov's shield first. Question is, how am I actually gonna get you over without like that then? Okay. Thanks. Dodge. Wait, that didn't do anything. Okay, well, I what? Huh? This may be really stupid. Especially since we're not getting as much healing there as a like. Not nearly as much as I. What? Oh, wow. The range on that is really limited. So they weave real quick. Okay. Come on. Hit. And stop. Dodge. Hit. Ah. But breaking... Electra with Cryo is... Frankly, the real issue here. Getting them close enough for the thrill to hit. Is it, it's definitely a hitbox issue that Krog is so big in comparison that getting them to actually connect is tough. Come on. And as soon as I think I've gotten close enough, you uh, start up your attack. This is very, very bad. How can I ensure if you jump over to me, you can hopefully make this work. And that... Dodge and... Okay, cool. Thanks. And, well, that... Could have worked, maybe, except... No. But... Uh, maybe. Thank you, and... Alright. Maybe... We try this. But it's... Painful. Does that use... Gotta keep, keep trying to deal damage. As much possible as possible whenever I get the opportunity, no matter what that opportunity is. Thank you, and... Go like that. Pyro is nice, but I need to make sure we do not take more damage than I absolutely have to. I, thanks. I, okay. Thanks, and... Screw Sudolenko, not Nomokunov. You are currently the most... ...needing of more damage, and... Ah, that's annoying. Gotta make sure we... Oh, you stopped your attack? Is that new? That might be new. So we need to stay in this general area to ensure that... ...more stupid garbage does not happen. Too much, and... Thanks, alright. Swirl up. Okay. I, never mind, I hate you. 
We need to knock you down a bit more for sure. And come on, thanks. But 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 you okay? Why in God's name? Why? Okay, well, I gotta hit the right one as much as possible. Sudorenko is not priority right now. I, who are you hitting? Who are you trying to hit? None of that, please. I. Never mind. I. Please dodge. Hit ends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This. Even this swirls might actually be the trick at this point. That's a thing. Swirl ends. Come on. Oh, please. To ensure. The issue is he's not bringing his shield up. That's what's weird to me. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once he brings that shield back up, I think we've got it. So we only need ten seconds to win this whole thing. Dodge. Huh? We need everyone, though. Hit everyone. Res decreases are painful. But I would honestly imagine that the easiest way to do this would be in co-op and letting characters sort of switch in and out. Mm -hmm. But, you down like this. Dodge. Mm -hmm. Make sure that everyone is in a spot where I can Swirl them with a relative ease, and of course you're doing that now. When is the cooldown that stupid, stupid godforsaken attack? Don't jump in, please. I- what? Oh. So close to winning. So close to dying. That's what's so annoying. Oh, he's on the edge between life and death, and if he kills no Nomokanov, it's... Absolutely occurrence for me. Please do not accidentally kill one of them. I'm begging you. But... I could probably actually hit through the shield right now if I absolutely had to. That's the funny thing to me. Come on. So now, actually, this is... Definitely the... Maybe? I... Never... What? Okay. Come on, I... What in the- okay. It's- I would say it's now or never, but it's never. It's definitely never now. Thanks. And... And I- It's not happening. We- We're really, really close. And maybe if I had been a bit more- uh, quick on the gun, but you know, I could always try defense food, but it's not the primary issue, really. But it feels like an Ayaka check. I can't imagine who would be better suited to that fight than an Ayaka team. Once you've gotten that first bit down, that's all you need can keep them permanently frozen. <sighs> but... Killing them all within a 10 second window... is... what turns this from just a hard fight to a... nightmarish... HP management puzzle. Because... He's so big, but it doesn't make his swirl any bigger. <laughs> oh, it, oh, and right, the other one we killed also dropped his mat. Fair enough. It is honestly funny that since they're not elite enemies, they don't drop any kind of... can't drop artifacts while well, the literal normal humans do. Thanks. All right. So... We try this again. Okay. 
but it no good way to ensure swirling the right element, so to speak. Get in here. Of course you're... Come on. I'm sure that Pyro doesn't get swirled. It's otherwise breaking that shield is going to be an actual nightmare. Okay. And that... We need to wait for Sacrificial to proc again. This is basically where I need things to be. Okay. Come on. Alright. Just... Uh. So if I keep running rather permanently, more or less, that can work, but this is what I need, except that did not stop you in any way. That is, again, literally nightmarish. I... We can revive him. Death in this stupid fight is going to be something I'm just going to have to accept. Okay. Alright. Shred is not here. That... Okay. Thanks. And try to wind them up as fast as I can. And... One, two, three, four... Never mind. Okay. Alright. And that's more of that garbage, I suppose. Got your stuff back. Okay. Hmm. No good way to break that down. Because of course there isn't. Okay. Dodge. Vaporize. That target tracking is not great. Thanks. Ooh, then. Guess I could try some of that, but surprised that didn't hit me or anything. Okay. Uh, gotta make sure we have enough for Kaz's burst. When, uh, time comes. Shooting at me like this is not great. Just need to make sure we got everyone in the right position. In theory, we could maybe try timing some of that, but... Dodge. I... What? That? You can't get any distance from there. It's just... Talk about... Crowd control, Jack. Talk about permafreeze, Jack. It's just... I don't have a good permafreeze team not named Morgana. That doesn't use Kazuku. I mean, this is just as much, if not more, so a Kazuya check and then an Ayaka check. But, you know, it's Freeze with Kazuya, and the best team in that paradigm by far is Ayaka Perma Freeze with no real competition in that niche. If I wanted to use something like. Well, Rathesla would shatter it. There'd be other problems there, too. It's... Whole situation. In theory, what I could do is... Scroll one. And that, getting them all within one... Swirl. When one swirl is definitely how I need to do this. Should all get to the right spot, and... Can I... Thanks! Broke that, except we didn't. Okay. And that... Oh, you got to be kidding. Oh, alright. can try some of that, I guess. But that actually kind of worked. It's not nearly as good, but you can brute force it to some extent. Uh, but... You ask for challenge content, sometimes you get it. Oh, but we even got some Electro Charge on them, which is actually really, really nice. Okay, Baju, get back, and get you all in one place, ideally. Should we get all of them? Spin a win, and it's actually pretty good. 
Once you make sure that the swirls are somewhat spaced out, that you only need one application, that makes things a lot more manageable. It's just, I had to prime the pump, so to speak. Thanks, I dodge and dodge, okay. Wait, that didn't actually swirl down. <laughs> now that's weird. I Okay, dodge, okay. Ooh, we even lived that. This is, this is our time. This may be the one. Just gotta make sure they're all broken down at the same time. You'll have everyone up to max. Swirl them all. Food's effective for long enough that that shouldn't be the problem. Okay. Dodge, dodge. Shoot, get in here and... Well, I did not want that to happen. That's actually bad news. Uh, uh, okay. Once you get your shield back. Get your shield back. Let's roll down the rest of you. Come on. Get those reactions going. Just to ensure they do not lose track of me. When are you going to put your shield back? You don't have a way to burst it back up. You can regain it eventually, but it's just... And I can't even break that shield yet. Come on. You are the most durable. Make sure we got power to break down. Cryo shield. Ideally. Should do it. Thanks, and I... I... Okay. Come on, I... Really, really... And of course the bad connection gets in my way. Uh, we can prime the pump now at least, but... Swing the right one is... Where the problem lies. I, and of course you're out of the way now. Come on. I... What? Uh, not nearly enough. Keep jumping around like a... Cat on crack. Please. I am... Let's get down there. At what? Huh? It doesn't even make sense. I... Well, it... Guess who needs to... Buff back up and... Go to hell! Seriously, go to hell! This is... I swear to God, I can't micromanage this as much as I need to. But I... Uh, a little micromanagement needed for this fight is actually a nightmare. We need another heal, but it. Uh, I might have to literally move out early, just because the Wi-Fi is not good enough. I'm not even joking. Uh, but the fact that Burning Grass can and will break down his shield when I don't want his shield broken is very annoying and very, very stupid. Got a minute. Make sure we're hitting them enough times. Come on. This rule did not hit a single person. Come on. That actually did hit. More or less like I would have liked. Come on. Come on. Right one. Dodge. That actually- What? Huh? What? Huh? I just- The terrain is my enemy here. <laughs> More than any of the characters. Breaking that shield down in a way that does not ruin my life is not even seemingly possible. Uh, I, uh, Baiju will come back and we can 
fix him. Except, nope. Okay. Gonna maintain that aggro. There you are. Get that going. Actually, the burning grass is passable. I never mind. How did that not break? That? Huh? I just. I don't even know what's going on here anymore. Slowly breaking down some other shields, but. Uh, that one back is. Or this is getting really dumb. Need a heal, we need a buff up. And then. It's just a matter of unleashing the cannon on them. But to actually do that is. Another matter entirely. Okay. Well, and. Oh, well, I. Never mind. That's actually horrible. Thanks. I. Well, maybe. Come on. I. I broke down some of that. That actually worked pretty well. Let's buff ourselves up and kill these guys. Yeah, you have to take these gifts wherever they come from. Thank you, thank you. Now we just kill whichever ones we can as quickly as we can. Thank you, and just like that. Thanks. Cool, and wait, what? Oh, because they get their shield back when that... And I thought I was so close. What in the... Let me see. I like Chrome Tristars. Shields. And it... Right, because it fully restores their shields. I'm stupid. You have to kill... Electro Guy last, then. Why is this... So stupid. You can't do any kind of... <sighs> what can you even do? It... Something that prevents them from using their abilities has to be it, but... The only real viable freeze character with any kind of AoE is... That is a niche occupied literally entirely by Ayaka. Nobody else can do that. You could try Morgana, maybe. Some kind of godforsaken Kazuya Morgana team, but... I mean, it's just really... No. You, you, you really can't. I, uh, come on, come on. Thanks. Okay. Come on. Go up now and... Uh, close enough to swirl. Dodge. Cryo on you. If at all possible. Thanks. And... There we are. This is what I need to do. But I need to make sure I'm killing the right ones. It's a very strict order of presumably Pyro, Cryo, Electro. As I can keep range. Keeping range is not actually an issue here at all. Thanks, I, I... Oh my... Forgot, I forgot. Okay. Damn you. What in the... Okay. What in the... God damn. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, stupid. Forgot she was still in Numa mode. I hate it here. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and. Huh? That didn't get you? Whatever. Come on. Two, three, four, five. And I. What? Okay. Stupid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 
I feel like I need to do some HP micromanagement now. This legitimately is torturous. I could just go for a few more hits on you while well, I have the opportunity. But it's Sirodenko. You're the problem. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. And uh, hmm. Some of you are okay. It's all a question of being the right guy. Just Sirodenko. No, we. Okay, well, I, this might be it. Maybe. I don't know. We could try. It's a matter of who gets their stuff back and when. Okay. Three, four, and can I. Oh! Went for the wrong one again. But it's. The issue is, he's, he's so passive. Well, really, they all are. That hitting him in backline is an absolute fool's errand. Well, as in hitting him before Electro is just not happening. It's what's vile about the whole subject. <sighs> So I know how to do this in theory, but... It has to be permafreeze. As the intended way to do this. But I don't have the ingredients, so to speak. You can try cooking, but without the ingredients... Good luck. Okay. Alright. Come on. The cryo on you. Fire on the cryo guy, I mean. I, okay. <laughs> Come on. You're gonna approach until you stop, and here we are. Cruel. I, what? I, we got juggled. We actually got air juggled by that enemy. The fact that they can do that is kind of ridiculous. They're juggled by gunshots. Okay. I... So much of this food, I don't need to be conservative with it at all. Okay. Some more... The crit damage food would be nice too, but... We're okay. I, be I guess I could just use some defensive food, because that would stack. Right? Offensive healing effects, you know. Why not eat the delicious golden crab? Because those buffs all stack. There's really no reason not to. Every advantage, every little advantage we can get. Come on, I. Oh, please. And swirl correctly, and. Thanks, Ricky Down. Now that means we can. So you all in. Thank you. Without burning going, I suppose. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six. I swirl. Baiju. Can't put all these down at once, so that's the issue. Have to wait a little. And oh, never mind. Okay, cool. Thanks. Two, three, four, five, six. That's actually pretty good in terms of order, but uh, Sirodenko has to be next. It's everyone before Nomokonov. I mean, everyone before, yeah, everyone before Nomokonov, which again is easier said than done. Because again, it's about priming the pump by making sure that the Rhine gods have their stuff down. Come on. Oh, James. There we go. We got you in the right spot. We pyro to get. Abbasli also. His shield elements rolled on the Sirodanko. Thanks. Please. Please. 
the right spot. And there we go. There we are. Well, we should honestly put other food buffs back up, but... Shields getting regenerated by Nomokonov is... What really irks me. Okay. Well, I... Might be the way. Maybe. Thanks. Alright. Don't need to do that. Do I really? I, and I... Thanks. Swirl that ends. Kaza Kazuha. And we're actually maybe in a good position for this. Make sure we hit the right ones. Thanks. That's you, 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 you. Thank you, God. It's all over. What did that take? An hour? <sighs> okay. Defeat the Polychrome Tristars within 10 seconds of defeating the first member. <sighs> okay. That's just the two ones and totems that I still need to find. Again, God knows when that is going to be, but it's... I don't have to worry about any kind of stupid additional conditions now. It's... the fighting is over, well and truly. So... I guess it's Spiral Abyss. One question then is who to use? Maybe I'll take a quick bathroom break before that. Cool, cool. Intending Moon, Night Soul's Blessing, and that only affects Milani right now. Well, it affects Kachina, but again, the joke writes itself.
back. Alive. Okay. Let's get going. Good stuff. All I can think of is... Hmm. Is the final one going to be, and how should I run up against it? The answer is... I want to fit Melania in somewhere. Cannot be second half for obvious reasons. And... First half would work. Second half I could just use... Arlatine. Let's make sure that everyone, both of those teams, has their proper equipment. Thunder Soother might not be amazing, but it'll work. And what fab lands does Shavros have? Shavros has... Or two... Eh, maybe they have one of the ones that works. Take it from Silly Candace. And then... There's Milani. Milani should have, yep, Wits of R5. You need to take death match back from Zhao. Yida should have sack frags and Dia the They have great sword and tenacity. Okay. So both those teams should be in their proper positions, so to speak. Fun here. Power damage bonus, that whatever. All of these chambers are kind of silly. We'll do first half Arlatine. Yeah. So you. Yai. Fischl. Chavus. And then. Money doesn't need to be there. And Hida, Dia, Emily also to help. Battery, Emily. That should work. Okay. I'll be chilling. Max HP. Mm, that's good, I suppose. None of these early fours are anything I am particularly worried about. Okay. Cool. Thank you. And. Okay, come on. Three, one, two, three, four, one, two, yep, okay. Easy enough. It's mowing down these baby dragons. Youch. Thank you, I messed up. Up, okay. Oops. There we are, and nice. Cool, one, two, three, right, and or miss entirely. Good enough. Okay. Definitely a bit overkill, but fine by me. Move on to the next. That will help pretty much everyone. Thank you, and it's Kaholosaurus this time. It really is a mean one. Come on. I'm... Alright, and... Where to next? There we are. Hit. Hit. One, two, three, four. Okay, with one of the spin slashes, but not both somehow. Okay. Try this again. Over here, that's just one opponent. Done by me. And just like that. One, two, three. Bite! And somehow that did not kill. Okay. It's actually. A crit probably would have. No bows on that team, though. <laughs> That's good, especially since the other side does not need attack for anything. And Yunkasaurus this time. Thank you. Move over there. Shoot. Hit. Thank you. And for the rest. Here we are. One, zero, three, and well. Okay. Lag is never a welcome presence. All right. And that's all. These early fours this time are 
A total joke. I... Huh? Well, that happened. Build a battery, but also... Cancel the burst during the intro cutscene. That is the weirdest kind of lag I have ever gotten. I... This would also enable Night Soul to help out too, but... There's various kinds of Kapola swords, and unlike... Some of the other chambers... Earlier 4s, 9s, and 10s, and... Fontaine patches always said Numa and Usia knows, but... Nothing on 4 non engages to the gimmick at all, and all you've got here is just one secret source automaton. That might not be such a bad thing, but still. Hmm. Let us use similar teams. Well, the same teams, because I like to try to send them all through as much as I possibly can. Luckily, it's easier to bunch them all up when they're all one rarity. Fair, I could always favorite some of them if I felt like it. That is true. Go for the ones that apply for the entire floor whenever possible. More rubs, so this time we'll lose two. Thank you. Go for the far away one. Nice, except that didn't work this time. Never mind. But this is a true swarm fight. It's interesting. So, it's just you over here. Oh, then, and, and we got you, me, switch, I, okay, there we are, switch, hit, take you out, you're getting kind of juggled, and that, don't have a lot of good options for a pure horde fight here, at least not what the characters have decided to use. Okay. Thank you, and... That down. One, two, three. And that took out the gator before I had to do anything at all. Okay. But of course, the Night Soul. Bonus is definitely helping her, too. That's fine. Cool, hit everyone. Put this down too, except again issues. Come on. Thanks. Just like that. Pick you out. As long as you can see where everyone is. Oh, I did not think that would interrupt me, but I was wrong. Okay. Uh, uh, that's you. One, two, three. Official switch. Take you down. Get that going. Thanks. And just a couple more. Lag didn't help, but it was fine in the end. Okay. So. Just like that. And another. Thank you. One, two, three. Bite. One, two, three. We can just ignore the bird anyway. Though going for the bird is usually the best way because it deals a bit of extra damage and also reduces res. Wasn't necessary that time. Okay. So it's just the same thing more or less. Thank you. Right. Go in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And just a few more of you. Go for first switch. Another burst. We're good to go. And that should be it. Just got the Milani stage. Everyone's got their burst back, so we're good to go here. Thank you. Kachina could make it activate faster, but it doesn't really matter here. Thanks. One, two, three. Bye. One, two, three. Bye. Okay. Cool. One of four eleven, and details this time are, or are we? We're made in crocodile. I definitely want to use Malani in first half. Then, even if that's not perfect, especially since the avatars of the lava are there, and the wave shadower would. Probably be a team I'd want to deal with with Arlequino anyway, maybe. It's actually kind of tough to say. 
<laughs> well, no way to find out than to try it out. Yo. Yo, yo. Very, very girl power this time. Fair enough. I energy recharge would probably actually be better here, but I... This might be where things get annoying. So since the burning is going to suck here, especially since it'll do damage to all those guys too. Okay, I, yeah, this might not be the way. Especially with everything I've got being well, the way it is. Come on. Alright. Thanks. And just like that. Come on. One, two, three. Bite, I guess. Thanks. And. I mean, I guess that kind of worked, but we've only got a little left this time. If we can ensure that they just stay, keep getting. Place right and well. I, yeah, we can aggro them easily enough. That's actually not a problem. And next is over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow, that was actually trivial. Again, I suppose I'll take it. Better to do it easily than not manage it all. Yum. Okay. You, all the way over there. Luckily, everything we've got should be relatively doable. The question is just... Who is going to manage and how? Alright. Hmm. Or, or, okay. Very strange. Timing on the other part is going to be annoying. Oh, they just spawn in sequence. It's actually terrible for me. Okay. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. And, well, okay. This is certainly a way to do things. Luckily, there is a much more generous combo than on these fours compared to the others, so. Sweet. And there is your garbage. Okay. Thanks, but all of your. Okay. Cool. Alright, and... Uh, never mind him. Come on, I... Uh, uh, now we got Mucasaurus here. Three of them. And luckily the damage we deal is real nice. And... If it works, it works. That's all I can say. Two opponents, this should be fun, but that weed shuttle may be annoying. Let's make sure we don't get hit by that, and we can close the distance only so far. One, two, three. Okay, cool, and now you're over there. Thank you, Crocodile. Awesome. We were doing fine, but not amazingly. Come on. Shoot. And... Not all that stunnable, but the base damage is enough, and then we fly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not that many of them need all that much. Should we go for burst damage? Should be fine, I suppose. Thank you, hit all of you. One, two, put that down. Burst damage bonus is good to have. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, cool. And there we go. We got our avatars of lava up in here. Both of you got your stuff. That's good. So now we just make sure we got everyone. It's down. Probably use my first hits. Or not. It's easier than the domain, I guess. Huh. And now we got fake Sappho, basically. Do not ice me, please. Come on. And... Aha! Uh -huh, that actually did the trick pretty well. So now we can try juggling you, I suppose. If you want to. It's fine. And of course we can just break that, too. It's all done. 
go verse with the one verse that does not have any meaningful amount of iframes because God hates us. And just surprised that that accidental charge proc again. Well, Money Team first half. See how well that works. It might not, especially in Chamber 3. And then. Let me just see. Oh, and she's still got her buff from <laughs> being in theater. Might give some interesting ideas for teams to run, I suppose. Well, I'll live. Candace. Emily. Dia, that doesn't do all that much. Emily getting more attack could help, I suppose. In terms of four stars, it'd be Yo Yo, Candace, and Zhongling. And... Yeah, it. Zhongling wouldn't fit in all that amazingly here. I guess she could work against the Yumkasaur King, but Monty is not working against that Nadra Phantasm. It's never happening. I should really get a Golden Troop set for Yai, because that would. Decently increase the damage ceiling of this team. Oh well. The main thing is, I gotta remember to detonate the flame granites. Energy recharge might help a bit with that, and it's that. Right, domain challenge is one. Fun. Here we are. No scope. Thank you. One, two. Thanks. And that did not quite work. Okay. Bye. And got. Mm, but again. Okay. Mm, okay, I don't quite like this. And make sure you don't put up your stuff too quickly. Well, that. Okay. On to actually. Sure, 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 sure. And there we are. Well, I guess I could try to knock you down like this, but who are we going to get the right ones away from me to the right extent and distance is the question. Okay. One, two, three. Bye, and for one more hit. Yeah, we can try this, I suppose, but. I want to make sure you don't get shield back too quickly, is the thing. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. And I. Aw. This is actually rather difficult. And oh, right! And that's the local legend in you. Thank you for stalling. I love you. Be mine. Uh, okay. Thanks. And. Put this down, and luckily, it doesn't seem like they can actually regenerate their shield at all. But, given that I just fought them, I feel I should have known better. Whatever. Oh, but that's right. Slutfish will shoot them down. Yeah. And that's why you keep a bow user on your team. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Okay. And it's just you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And shoot. Shoot. And I. Okay. Thanks. Four. And the last one is a. Ah, okay. One of you guys. We actually managed to dodge that a lot better than I would have expected. Okay. Put that down. Put that down. Uh, okay. Seize. We're doing okay. Even this. This is kind of painful. This is not the one they usually have in here for the Hydro Phantasm local legend anyway. Okay. Looks like Shiro should have reverse. That might have been a graphical error. Energy recharge. I think we should take the energy recharge. So we can bomb and stuff. Did that go on everyone? That did not go on everyone. God have mercy. Okay. So gotta no scope this. So figure out a way to make sure that everyone gets in the radius. 
probably like this. Yeah, that should be good. It's just, how do you make sure that everyone comes in close? Or do you, can you? Okay, one, two, three. Bye. Ooh, we can anti-air? Oh, that's vile. And now I see they really cooked. Uh, Jade Punto ship is right there. To start this whole damn rotation up again. And well that kinda okay. Hmm, one, two, three. Bye. One, two, three. Bright. One, two, three. Bright. And I guess we can pitch it, even though that did not actually want to get her stuff going entirely. Okay. Got her stalwart and true. Mm -hmm. Only a minute, but still. Gotta keep those vapes going. Thank you. Come on, come on. And nice. And any more. I. Uh, Damage is good, but it can only do so much for us. Thanks. And I, uh -huh. Let me switch in. Three and right. Nice. Okay. It's not perfect. Not by any means. But when that Witsith R5 gives me an effect that actually helps me, it's hard to get all that much better. Thanks. Two. It's one minute for Kanki. Three, four. One, two, three, four. I hope Kanki doesn't sell too much, but that is definitely too much to ask for. And really? Okay. Come on. All right. Mm -mm. Down. I okay. One, two, three. And your setup while other uh, garbage is happening. And I, okay. Don't manage to get through that or not. I can't even tell at this point. Okay. And go for your parry and dodge. I, oh, I got that wrong. Okay. Through dash. Oh, that actually. Thanks. You use that for eye frames, I suppose. But where are you going? Of course you're going in. I hate you. One, two, three, four. You're getting far away from all of the turrets. The art base damage is still pretty good, but I'm... Time to... Thank you. I one, two, three. Just don't. Please. I Thank you. We have to stand the way of that. And photo finish, maybe? We, our damage is good here, and thank you. That was good enough for me. Just, Shavros might have trouble getting that burst back. And your recharge attack won't do much to me. This could actually be nice here. Let's try this. Not much damage from that Dendro, but... I'm sure we can survive, but... Dying is a tough one. Please don't kill me too hard. And bite and mm, timing is tough with that one. And can I hit? Yep, we can. Nice. Good damage on you. And mm, the rest is the question though. But instead of Kongamato, it's just Lord of the Mountain, whatever that means. And bite and not vape for the sun, but we can get it back rather easily. Can I? Hopefully you'll stop spinning. Thank you, and put this down. A few more silly night soul attacks and try and hope and... Really? That's dirty. I actually hate that. Legitimately dirty tactics there. Come on. Thanks. I... Uh... We can always try this one again, but still, uh, for the love of all that is good and holy. If we didn't spin like this, we would be in a much simpler position here. Whatever. Thanks, I... <sighs> okay. We got a minute and a half for this garbage. Oh, thank you for the ER. But this shouldn't really be a problem. And dodge. 
That was a horribly missed on dodge, but we're gonna be okay. And dodge, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Thanks. One, two, three. Out of the way. Hit. Let's try to see when you're gonna put your minions down. Yeah, we should be good to go. I yeah, just make sure we get that all back. And yeah, now you can't do anything more, but you're spamming the rocket attack. That's what bothers me. Let's go ahead. Next pattern. You have 45 seconds. This should be enough. Honestly, can't imagine a world in which this would not be enough. 100. Okay. Cool. And... I... Okay. Come on. Claim, claim, claim. Do not kill me. And... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Don't imagine this can fail at this point, but God knows. Let's actually just go for the photo finish and... Goodbye! That, that is real fun to do. So, I wouldn't say effortless, but... Worked decently even though... One of the bosses was frankly as direct a counter as you could get to what I had going. I got some trash to toss. Let's see if we get any good pieces here. That might be good. If they have anyone physical, that again good. Energy recharge. Can't really throw away all that much from Cinder City right now. Ugh, uh, it's angsty. Suppose what I'll do then is just feed all the four star trash I've got lying around to stuff I've got in preparation for Kinich. Should be good. We got some TCG stuff right now to do, just weekly matches, and then pass that. Ooh, crit rate, not bad. And getting crit rate is nice, given that it's got a damage circlet, and oh my goodness. I, I, I could swear that they're really just trying to juice key nature. Okay, that one was not ridiculous. Now I feel a little better. I'm starting to get a bit guilty. Oh, and what? So you gotta overcap. That's hilarious to think about. Yeah, and it's not like I'm complaining because I want him to be good, but... Huh? That... It's plus 38.9. <laughs> it's gonna mean... Just at base, he's going to have 83% crit rate with Obsidian Codex up. I cannot imagine he could get a meaningfully better set. It also means it wouldn't work all that well with a weapon if he got it. The crit damage that's gonna be... Also pretty crazy. With his substats and the circle and it's just <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, okay. We'll take the remaining reliquaries. Got enough space I can just pick them all up right now, which is nice. None of those will be worth keeping because I just don't use four star artifacts ever for anything. And I guess some of those pieces I didn't have in a four-star form yet, or something was weird about that. So let us simply toss more into something. Do not need to use these artifact juices right now. Save them until I need to rush using someone in the party, which, again, I don't need to do right now. Claim our rewards, which will be nice to get. Play them all could be cool. And that is five rolls. That is good, I suppose. It's 199 rolls right now. Saved up. And with the white fates I have, that's 220. That's it. Kinich is coming home come hell or high water. But then, of course, what's up as Jionen is 
I suppose it's still a bit in question. So I suppose I will simply go into cat land. And if I... The question is really just, do I look up where the final two not on local legends are, or do I not do that? Because I know one's around Wheatsley Hill. That's the big thing. Also, the fact that there's nothing in this pool, and a lot of other local legends are near water, gives me some pause. Not all that much. It feels as if one of them should be in Amayako somewhere. We got Balashka, we got Kusiho. Remarkably small number. And then, around here you got four local legends all bunched up, and then one, two, I think around here. It makes sense for one to be around this way, but the possible location of that totem is what escapes me. Hmm. I guess I could do a quick glide trip real quick, but then maybe go into Wheatsley briefly. But it's... I want to find it, but I don't want to be led by the nose. And I... Is that a... No, that cave in there is... The one connected to that story quest. Trouble Chronicle that isn't fully unlocked yet. But I don't know, somewhere there was one cave with a bunch of tepid with Soros of warriors in it that I just do not remember the location of now. Found it when I was first exploring around Notlon, and I should have marked it, among other things, but where and what it is simply escapes me. Hmm. Checking over there is not going to do me much. That is, of course, one big nothing. I... Maybe it was around here? But I still... don't really know. Tough to find these spots. This is where I met the Relics Association guy. I could see it being maybe somewhere around here and the last one being somewhere in Dweet's Lane, but... Still so much... left up to chance. Or otherwise just tough to find. Went through here. Those are ones who would challenge me to a fight. Then... Was it over here or not? The main thing is... I know that the one left is a... Tepet with Saurus... I mean, a... Yunkasaurus warrior. And the Tepet with Saurus warrior local legend was close to the Tepet with Saurus. But... That isn't true of all of them. Marked a digging spot somewhere, I think. No, I didn't. That's the issue. It's a weird digging spot I found and simply never did anything with. Huh. Is it here or it was around here? I'm not sure what that, that would actually take me to, if anything. Close enough that if I want to investigate it, best way to do it would just be going up this way. Alright. Kachina time. You're up. Hey, huh? are. But I think... I'll look around Wheatsley. I might find it. I might not. But the final local legend will probably have to be saved for... Next patch. Okay, wait, what is this? This one? That goes... Where? I... Okay. I guess I could try digging into some of these fissures, but... 
Who knows? Okay. Enter that, I guess. Random chest. And that sends me where? Oh, Pyroculus. Between the legs. Huh. Other than that, I cannot imagine there's much. Get a nice view of the graffiti. And does that make the volcano explode? I wonder what actually can be done, if anything, to manually proc an explosion. Feels an interesting question. An interesting result. And an interesting answer. No matter what that answer is. So... Huh. Guess we can come up here a little, try to dig into wherever and whatever that hole leads to, if anything. Again, I'm not sure. I... So we're in Gloss Succulents. I might just go daily hunting. Teenage could use a few more. These chrysanthemums are needed for Sheila Man. So... It's a road, but where it leads... Who knows? Let's try this. I, oh my goodness. Enter that. And where is this even going to take me? Is there anything of note going to happen here? Does not seem so. Okay. Huh. How do I do this? Uh, God, to be kidding me. Well, okay. Yeah, I cannot imagine it would be up there. But... I don't want to just look up where it is. Is the thing. It's a puzzle somewhere in Wheatsley Hill. I should go back and do cat seal stuff first and then go along. Farming roots for specialties briefly. That would be simple enough. Again, it would not kill me. Okay. Let's play TCG. Shouldn't take all that long and then I can... Wait, that that's the wrong deck. That's the wrong deck. That's the one I use for the challenges. Okay. I know that was just connection, but it certainly felt like they took their time. Alright. Okay. Let me just switch that out. Okay. That's definitely what it was. <laughs> So, switch to the deck I'm using to characters through, because the next one will be Fremine, Sean Yoon, and who else? Don't even really know. Okay. Well, getting some crystallizes started one way or another yeah, would be yeah. a decent yeah. enough idea. Spreading Hydra around would also be a decent enough idea. Let's go with a strategy conducive to the other strategy. That down. That down. Use this one. Go for a slash, and that's full dice usage. Always a good way to do things. Thank you. Hmm. Zaka all round defense. I think I'll end my round now. It's not like I can really do much of anything else. Switch to the lore master. And... Hmm. What I could do, and what I probably should do, is... Go for another slash and try to use my burst. That requires 
Sacking the hill troll. It's not all that bad. It's all about spreading element around. As best as I can. Might have to do some switches and changes, but... That may just be the price I have to pay. Let's go for a slash. You gonna switch to Ito or to someone else? You're gonna use your burst. Yeah, they were. Yeah, I was definitely expecting that. So, play a couple of those. Play that. Okay. And there we go. It's one for tuning. I think. Oh, but that won't work. Hmm. There's one for tuning after switching. It's an idea. Definitely want to put this on Navia. Okay. Then we can use one of these, tune one of those. Put this down so that I can use this for cheaper next round. And this should be good. Got a good thing going, even if we'll take a bit of damage from that, sadly, but... Someone is gonna get bubbled. This and Navi actually make a pretty decent combo, and just... Just crystallize for why, but not amazing at finding ways to apply element herself. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, as in, you need a way to apply element and... Well, having that would certainly be nice, I suppose. A talent, but it didn't come up. That's fine. Hmm. So you could put this up. Then use this to... Oh, hydro damage, you're gonna switch, you're gonna what? What you're gonna do? Gonna attack? Go ahead, attack. That will... Hmm. Yeah, I was figuring out, it seems. Trying to. Thank you. Give me that. Use the skill if elemental damage is dealt. It's qualitative progress. Okay. Do that. But crystallize is only going to do so much for me. I need to go for an actual attack first. Not great. Oh, but I... Ooh, ooh, I have to... I forgot to use that. That's the problem. Well, use another one of those. It's my other mist bubble. Won't do much, but it will apply element, which is the important thing. Use a couple things that I don't have use for, too. Tune that up and go for another shot. Thank you. Maybe Go even ahead. use the burst. And shrapnel is coming. Hmm. It's an interesting idea. I guess we'll tune. And then... Fire off the burst. That will secure a kill on him. Actually, it won't. Yeah. Question is... Will this kill Navia? I don't even know. Oh, yeah. They got a way to kill Navia. Huh. But if they switch, I can just annihilate someone with a shot. Depends on what they do. Lord knows. I am in a situation here. Yep, and that kills. Okay. Question is who I want to send in. It's gotta be you. Alright. None of these are good for anything anymore. Hmm. Put that down, can't hurt me. Go for a slash, that'll kill. Get rid of Yushi. Thank you. What now? Come on. And, ooh, okay. Huh. Cannot pretend that was good news. Hmm. One electro damage that'll get that out of the way at least. I could always just play a bunch of crystal shrapnel. That is true. 
Hmm. Now that is perhaps the silliest way to do this. Oh, and we're just drawing more shrapnel. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I only play one each round, though, is the thing. The only thing we can really do is play more shrapnel. Awesome. <laughs> Again, it, if it works. If it works. Oh, wait. That wasn't the end of his round. Shrapnel does not consume an action. Okay. Huh. There's much to think about there. Especially since I have literally no other use for it. Hmm. Getting burst off should be my priority. And that'll be fine. Whew. Thank you. Thank you. And I guess store sounds could be okay here, but... It's hmm. one damage, that's burst. Can't do much to me at this point. Charge it up, get our shield. And you can't crystallize, none of us have any real elements here. And that's all. Thank you. Charge up our big smack. Now that could have been good for you if you crystallized there. But it would not have saved you. Okay. Shield is interesting as something protecting there. Okay. So this deck has one more fight before maximum proficiency. <clears throat> Let's see. And now it's it. All of them are at nine, which means after this we'll put in Premonation on you, and who was the final character who didn't have maximum proficiency yet? Have to be. Was it anyone? Don't even remember who that would be. It was a monster card. And that's. Yeah, Frost Operative, which. I could at least get some funny Bond of Life memes up there. Maybe. Ah. I'm gonna run with this and just see. Play cards. Closing lineup. That, that might actually be better with Sean Yoon. I might want to save that for the other deck. Maybe. I don't know. Fight Marjorie, because Albedo's a real fight, and we probably want. A real deck, quote-unquote, for that. But, we'll see how this goes. So we do have Geo on this team in a way that we don't for the other. Okay. So, got you. That's going to start with Dendro App. I, we could make some funny Hyper Blooms happen here. It's fun, even if that does mean we're going to get burned. I hope we get another Hydro so I don't have to do any funny business to get anything else going. Hmm. I'm a Lala. I want to put this down afterwards so it doesn't proc during their turn. That. Good. Good have that down. Just a way to use cards. Boom cores up. We can get stuff going with the Sissing. Take your burning, I don't mind. So that will happen next round. More dice for me next round. Okay. Cool. Definitely gonna end up getting sacked. That's fine. Should definitely put one of those down. Maybe even both. Maybe. I think the talent hard wouldn't do much because uh, they're gonna die. Okay. Well, actually, I don't know. May not be the case. I 
could use this to get some quick and aura off. Gonna hit. We can heal some good damage even through that. Take advantage of that aura and also the core. Thanks for switching. Hmm. Quicken. I think off field presence is probably not the way I want to do things, this is the issue. We want things that react. Honestly, I might play both of these. Question is again who I would actually be willing to sacrifice. Two Tenshikakus is certainly a way to do things. Play one of those. Can't put Seelie down at the moment. Annoying. Navia can be an okay ish sacrifice, but oh, that's. Someone is gonna get switched out. But. Buy that overload, though. So it might not be too bad. Huh. The slash will be a one tap. Because of the extra one damage from the bloom. We'll be okay. Main thing is, when burning procs next round, it won't actually damage me. We'll be okay. And if we're lucky, if we play our cards right, we should have 10 dice starting out. Hmm. That's actually about as good as things could get. So if we had under five kinds, we wouldn't get those extra dice, and it would actually be bad for us. So, we make our necessary sacrifice. Go to Cease and Mage. Oh, but we forgot to put this down. Okay. Tough. Well, use that at least. And you know what? Why not? We can take you out. Entirely. The shield will do the rest of the job for us. Thank you. Thank you. Probably want to put this down, actually. Exomal's reaction damage uses one, uses one use. It's really only good at multiplayer matches, though, but that's okay. We could put that down, I guess, but... Should be fine here. Might have to let someone else get sacked, but that's going to be a four switch anyway, so. It's going to get an over... No, but the burning will take that away. But it's probably going to be another sack. Hmm. Hope we don't get fewer than five kinds of dice. Okay, nice. And both of our Tenshikakus have borne fruit. Thank you. Hmm. I guess we'll just go for a big hit. It's fine. It's a kill. We can go for a hit and use the burst to finish this off. That will be more than good enough for my purposes. Also, I... Managed to take down the really annoying Local Legend Trio's third achievement when we were down. It was really, really painstaking. So you had to use... To deal enough damage to make it not take forever, you had to basically use wind to make their shields hit each other. And then kill them in a very specific order after that, which is much, much easier said than done. It... Is probably the toughest thing I've done in the game. Just from a historical perspective, in the sense that if I had to, in theory, of course it's only ever in theory, go back and do everything I've ever done in the game with the team I've got, with the teams and level of strength I have right now, there everything would pale in comparison to the Polychrome Tri Stars. They simply have no real competition. Because it's an elemental team building challenge, it's a challenge of just having the DPS to actually do the fight. It's difficult in many, many ways at once. So, technique from Sean Yoon, and this will enable me to catch up entirely with every single card's proficiency, which is kind of crazy to think about. Use that for a bit of swirling. Hmm. 
Vault of Life to double. They don't heal, really. Not most of the time, but I guess we could keep that in just for the sake of it. Bell is always good. I'm not using this team against anything that has any kind of round limit. So going full defense would not be anything even remotely resembling a problem. Should be hot to trot here. So... Put in... Not Kujirai. It's a good one. Paimon card is always good for tuning, and that one was... over... There are honestly too many cards at this point. I don't think that's a meaningful contention, really. Hmm. Said, sacking is nice, but Storm Sons is nice too. This is going to be defensive to just make sure that everything I fight, I kill. Be fun. This is good for from an A. I guess we could take food, but eh, the chicken is not what I need right now. I could put in Bell. That is true. I would actually prefer... No, no. Shielding here. This is so unconditional. It's hard to top it. So, two more quick fights, and then I guess I could go looking for specialties. It's not unreasonable. Because Keenich is going to need a bunch. Shield End is going to need a bunch. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll find. Find. Another Knight's Old Totem along the way. Probably not. And that doesn't automatically switch back to the new one. Which is back to the first one, which would be the starter deck, which I only have around for nostalgia purposes. Not to actually use. This is... okay. Hmm. Ah, this should actually be a pretty nice place to start. Hope we get a bunch of animo dice. We got functionally three, which is good start, but... Hmm. Need our word of wind and flower. Put that on you, I suppose. Clouds at dawn. That... When you use word of wind and flower, it's your storm pinion. All stacks, but it doesn't say what's maximum. That's very, very interesting. So you can just sit on that. It's actually evil. Huh. I... wonder then... How could I manage this? I... Another could be good. It's not the Storm Pinion I need right now. Maybe I could do a couple switches just to rack up... some of that? I don't know. That's tough. Huh. But getting Hydra on a bunch of people is going to ensure lots of reactions and spread around, which is nice. Hmm. I feel like I want to get back on her. It's an idea. Oh, and free switch. Mate. Right? Multiple super round. Ah, oh, Drift Cloud Wave. That. Uh. It's interesting, conceptually. But... Mm -hmm. Now we should heal. One of those dice is going to get wasted, but this is not... A huge problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't want to use Word of Wind and Flower. I want to save up as much Storm Pinion as I can to just nuke somebody. So that really is a fun idea. How to run a team. Just huge new of just building up. But I'd have to find a team that actively encouraged switching somehow. That's the thing. Go for one of those, boost our switches, spread the Hydra around. The nice thing is, now that we've got Electra, we can trigger a bunch of reactions. The question is how I'm going to get to any of the Electro Slimes. 
And do a bit of switching, that is true. Question is who else I'll use. This will be good, help me keep some stuff in the line. Might actually want to. That will not kill is the thing. That... We can actually just nuke. Well, and electro charge. And the animo nuke we needed is going to be right here. Goodbye. Doesn't deal all that much damage. That deals two damage, but it's second. In. Essentially, most skills are based around doing three in total eventually. At one point or another. Well. Suppose we could stay on here and keep that. We are doing well for ourselves, I'd say. I guess we could just try spamming reactions. Maybe, but... In all honesty, the best way to do that would be... Smacking... You... And that's any time you switch, which means we'd only get one of those anyway. Which is how many instances of reaction can we trigger? Hmm. Imagine the best way to do it is going to be Shinyan switching back. We'll have to take an electro charge of the things, but that's something I can count on for the sake of the plan. All for the sake of the plan. But I could also just. Oh my goodness, that's some truly ridiculous damage. It's hilarious. And they're all taking multiple reaction instances. The only thing left now is you. Okay. None of that they call her quad retainer garbage. Sad. Well, it... Cannot imagine things can get... Worse. We'll be okay. So next round, all I need to do is use a normal attack, and we'll be good to go. Shan Yun is a very conceptually interesting character. It, and I, I know people, my friends, some friends of mine have commented on it, but they can generally afford to be a bit more out there with how they design kits for TCG, because they're not making money off of any of these characters. They don't have to worry about them all being usable, honestly. And even if they are worried, they can literally just patch their performance back because no one is going to complain that they didn't get what they paid for. Which is why you have meta shifts, huge meta ascendancies, without necessarily having permanent power creep. You can generally assume that something new is generally going to be better than old stuff. But even that isn't always true. And apparently, Sino is actually the best card in TCG right now, which is amusing to me. I should probably try to get some swirls going, if at all possible. Question is who's going to stay in and who might not. Luckily, you do have a Paimon card to fiddle around with the elemental dice on hand right now, and. Well, that isn't a good starting hand of dice. I. We're good to go. We're very good to go. Let's use this talent card. Flood Bonded Shadow, but nobody here is healing. All that does is has us use Onslaught Stance on everyone. Spread some damage around, but everyone needs that Bond of Life for that to actually work. That is some trouble. So in that case, if you switch, well, we'll, we'll take that. You will simply deal with the consequences. That switching will allow us to accumulate a very nice nuke on somebody, eventually. She also does have the ability to put the Star Wicker down, but the question is, who needs... That's best with a catalyst for elemental normals. That could be good on a Yanfei team, I think, but beyond that, God knows. Think... Should do. Switch out because that's for free right now. Apply more Bond of Life. Nice thing is, everything has 
Bond of Life application. And not bad Bond of Life application either. So you'll go first, but we can ensure that no crystallized reactions happen, that we can spread our Bond of Life around, hopefully. They don't seem to have much in the way of healing, which means that Bond of Life isn't going to stop any healing, but it also means that when we use our burst with Chrono Operative, nothing is going to stop the piercing damage from coming. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, switch out to Kui. Maybe. I don't know. Do whatever you feel like. Now what is... Ah, Forging Billet. Switch it back to Kaching. And now what you would do if you were really nice would be... To switch to Kui so I can spread the Bond of Life around. Or I guess you won't do that. That's okay. And that spreads that. Right, because that comes back. So I suppose I could use... If you switch to Kui. Other stuff, but I... The Crystallize won't do all that much to me, but I feel like I should. Try to ensure I don't really get slammed by it. Which would mean... Play another one just to get that Drift Cloud Wave back. Switch to Fremine. To ensure the reactions don't happen. And play this on you. That is fine. Could have presumably played that to get a... That's kill on Kaching, but... I want to actually make use of... Cry Operative Slaughter Stance to get some damage in. It's... Bond of Life is an interesting mechanic. And the fact that in TCG and TCG alone we can apply it to enemies, it screams for more use. So he screams. Okay. Switch back. You have a good amount of stacks of that. You gonna switch to Queen? Gonna use her burst? Oh well. Yeah, as a joke. Okay. Well, that'll be okay. We can see if it's fun. Animation. That attack only is done by... Local Legend version, I think. Maybe. Shouldn't be quoted on that. And this would... Straight kill Albedo. And go elimination mode. Okay. And, oh, well, you can do that, too. That's six damage. Very nice. I'll bet it will take a bit of damage for that Onslaught stance, and you've got a lot of Bond of Life. How many times have I been hit with that? Oh, it's because of Rhyme Flow. Active Carrier. Character to double. Okay. That's just been doubling up. If only there was a way to consume their stacks. I would imagine that the reason that things work like this with your own operatives, if you're running a team with operatives able to apply Bond of Life to the enemy, is to further facilitate an eventual Arlequino release. Because she can absorb Bond of Life functionally. She applies... The debt to enemies, which itself is a way to apply Bond of Life. It's not quite the same, but... Zero damage. Let's play this and kill off the burst. Goodbye. Oh, get no sympathy from me. No sympathy for Klee. What that means is we could just plunge with Jean Yoon. That's fine. 2 HP, go ahead and doesn't do much for you because you didn't have your Isotoma down. Did crystallize though. It's actually pretty good damage. So let's use this. Give me a bit of healing that I don't need. And put this down. Don't really need that there. Bit of lag and oh wow. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I expected a little more from that. Okay. Well, it... 
And the AI has no ability. Oh, right. Thank you for that onslaught stance. So that's this week's TCG matches, and I'll just poke around the open world for a little bit. Kimi no Kachida, it is your victory. And that is the tiny bit of Japanese I know. So, let us buy something with those stupid old coins. Support cards done, we can get six more event cards, yay. Yai, Amber, neither of those I use. Hutao, also don't use that. Zhao, don't use that. Hilo Trolls and Abyss Mage, I also don't use that. Fatui, I don't use that, but it would be cool if I did. So it's mostly food, resonances, legends. Some standard events, but got a lot of those. It would be... The vote would be fair, next patch is adding a decent amount of cards. Not that much longer until I fully catch up on golden border skins. That's fun. Suppose we can traipse around the open world for fun and pleasure briefly. So that I can pinch for myself. Specialties for Kinich, who is soon. Shilanet, who is not so soon. Just generally ensure that Going along the farming route on my own time will not cause me to unexpectedly bump into things I didn't want to do. Like a quest or a fight. Open up that good old interactive map and... Soaring Gloss Succulents and Brilliant Chrysanthemums are what we need. And technically, it's forbidden knowledge that... Let me see. Oh, and it's showing what's on the map right now. Is that right? You know, I could log in. I'm not going to do that. Get rid of you. Put in... Well, of course, Keenage isn't out yet. Just put on our local specialties. We don't want the chains. We want... Soaring Cross Succulents and Brilliant Chrysanthemums. And that is... Mostly clustered around the Sulfurous Veins. So I'm not sure how many would be back. Flowers are basically all in one place. Okay. Start around. Some of them are in tunnels. Most of them are pretty accessible. So what I'll do is remember to actually use the specialty locating function. Because that obviates the need for the map. That's right. So I've got a few spots marked. It's up top. So we'll rush around this beautiful, beautiful place. Collect this, some of the specialties we'll need for the coming characters I'll be trying my best to obtain and will be chilling. Again, it might be kind of annoying that- wait. Wooden muddle alpaca? Huh? Wait. Okay, now I have to see what this is. Pick these up, read. Not a sport, I've had enough of this. The wooden alpaca models of place always get knocked into all sorts of strange spots. Could whoever it is just stop bopping them around? If I hadn't marked the poison spots out on the ground using graffiti, I'd have to look for them all over again. I am interested in what this is going to be. Wooden model alpaca, an alpaca model that says show signs of having been hit all over. This heavy object seems to need to be placed at a spark marked with graffiti. So where are those spots around here? Place one yeah. is not letting us knock it around ourselves. Yep. It's probably a good thing. The question is how many I can pick up. I guess they're all around here. So can we pick them all up at once or are they going to constrain us? We can pick up multiple. This might be all we need then. Stopping us there or it might just be... A server lag issue that allows us to actually pick up multiple at once in the first place. One's up here. And... Okay. So those others can't be picked up. There are only three that could be picked up, and now we've got... A precious chest. Oh. Okay. Sometimes I wonder, every time there's a precious chest, I wonder if it'll give me a ring fragment. That did not happen this time. Oh well. To open... 
A secret area beneath the Children of Echo's home settlement. We'll ride around on the funny top. The funny Kachina car. So... One over there, or... No, they were over here and the map was just relatively inscrutable. Question complete, new collection area mark. The nice thing is we can just go to our spots to refill up on Fogesson and continue driving the car. To the extent that it is. I mean, the closest equivalent would be a car, but still not really a car. That's over there and... That's going to be a pain and a half to get to, no matter how I do that. Okay, well. Nothing to do but to attempt it anyway, and- oh, hello. Oh, we got sucked into the quest. Well, where is this mysterious place? Something little tepet with source. Could be some sort of tepet with source gathering spot. Roar, roar. He would work so excited. Not often that you get to meet so many companions all in one go, huh? Roar? Oh, you mean you want to go over there and play with them? Come to think of it. The Aurochs probably ever gets to hang out with the other little tepet with swords. Be careful, okay? Don't be gone too long. Roar. Now, uh, Palmon's still a bit worried anyway. Let's find somewhere to relax and have something to eat while we wait for Theodorix. Palmon found a nice spot nearby to rest until Theodorix is done playing. But you end up waiting longer than you expected because they're playing hide and seek. Strange to come Theodorix isn't back yet. Palmon sure hopes nothing bad's happened. Got a bit carried away with the fun games, perhaps. Still have to give him a good talking to. The sun's nearly set. Let's go track it down before it gets so dark we can't even see. Well, we'll do that. In about three weeks. Yeah. Because my goal right now is solely to get the specialties I need. Should be a couple over there. Some automatons, but it's their problem. And Okay, so the connection broke for a little bit, and that seems to have stopped... For gifts and consumption. So it is connected to server connection. Tied to server connection. Connected to server ties. Maybe maybe I need a bit better vocabulary. Maybe I just need more sleep. It's definitely sleep. So more claws. And collection completed, new air collection area marks. There's one over there, and that can't be anything other than a succulent. Handle cow mushroom. A few of those. And. Got a you. It's any specialty in this area is going to be succulents. There's really no room for debate or disagreement there. It is nice that literally every not one character shows you. Collection spots. If only she did not consume Focus and Mokoi. That would be nice. Where is one over there? Should be able to get enough to just level Keen each all in one go, even without doing his story quest. We'll see. There would be so many in the first place. Make sure we get them all. 117 and we need 168 in total. If it comes down to it, I can go on a little run around to pick up a few for him on the day I roll for him, but it's still not exactly the most ideal way of going about things. And that tunnel down there is so plainly going to be blocked off tunnel you can just slightly see. Very plainly going to be a domain for Shilinen's hole. Trouble Chronicle Story Quest. So, monitor over there, and a couple over that way. We can have Milani just surf over this time. Thank you. And I don't want to fight. They didn't see me. They don't aggro entirely upon just seeing it, which is rather nice of them. That new collection area marked. I... That can only be a succulent. Should pick that up while I'm in the area anyway. So where is that going to be? That's 
in here or on the cliff it's just right behind all right and now that one wants to fight too let's tap it with sort of trough and it i'm surprised it didn't just mark the one that was immediately closest that's what's weird to me but whenever i've gone on a trip with the aid of the auto mark whenever i've seen singletons that have been marked i've always gone and picked them up even when they weren't in the area under the assumption that they wouldn't get marked on their own eventually there's one thing that would make sense would be marking the biggest first and the smallest later piece by piece but who knows really who knows thank you Marked a few more New collection area marked, and it's mostly just in the sulfurous veins. That is normal and logical. Question is, how many have I picked up on their own today, yesterday, other days before the respawn time? That, as opposed to the normal number that spawned in world of around 73 or so, that will determine how many more I can get today, and... Saurians and Capybaras. How cute. Over here, do your thing. Not interested right now in fighting you. And... New Quachinary marked, and as you would expect, they're mostly just here. So... Can't imagine there could be all that many more. But many of them are in here in the first place, so... We'll see. Sure that... Oh, didn't know that would make me fall down. Whatever. Namoyoda. So he challenged me to not fight me. That's up top. Teleport in there to get there faster, but of course we've got a little bit over here first. Come on. Oh my god, Furuto. The falling rain. I wonder if I can open up that cart. The other... Carts with soarings in them before in that Fatuli lab, but I would not imagine it would be fair if there are treasure hoarders there. Good chance that those are supposed to be representing Sorian poachers. Maybe. It's up top. There should be some around this pool by the Shrine of Depths, then. So. One. Two. Go over. Thank you. Take that. And I don't have a key for that right now. Because as usual, I'm waiting. Well, I do not want to deal with you. Another one, and... Still more. Huh. I knew that there were a bunch of the veins, and I literally picked these ones up too, but... Still, it's kind of crazy. Okay. Well. It seems to be on top, so... I'll just glide over to the other side then. Come on. Should be over there. But of course, if we want to use Kachina to glide, we need to switch out because we can't have her do nice little transmission to herself. That would be funny. Thank you. They're on the other side, and you know, we're here. Oh, monitors. And that a rock. Where are you going, though? That's the question. Okay, so this is multiple monitors for this one treasure chest. Okay. And... Oh, it's just crystal beetles that we unceremoniously killed by accident. Now that happens more often than I would like. This way together would be a back out, because the one we just saw was actually even lower level. Not connected. It's just iron chunks anyway. It's honestly kind of funny how much playing up they gave it then. You open up that fissure with a tepid with swords or a children of Echo's character and what do you get? Just iron chunks. Though to be fair, if you're doing the good expedition score and quote, you wouldn't be getting many basic chunks anyway at this point. So I suppose that's kind of nice. 
so we can collect the final few in the world right now. Get some flowers. And collection all recommended areas completed. It's not the same as seeing all of them in... I only need seven more. So that'll be trivial. Let's go to collect these. And... Understandably, there are a bit more of those lying around at the moment. But they're very, very bunched up. So we can make sure that nothing gets in our way. It's good that I... God, that tepid was sort of thing, because I surely would have done it without being able to document it if I'd gone on that same farming route. So, lots and lots of little flowers around here. Hello? I guess it makes some sense that Emily is the one picking this up. Oh, that's a grappling hook. I would bet that this is where one of those Night Soul Totems is, but. Can't make much of a bet on that at the moment. Maybe. Let's see, and that's blocked off there. Oh, and the hook is in there. You'd have to pull it. That's interesting, but again... That's something I'll save for next patch. Because if they aren't adding new areas, there's no reason to explore them all now. And deprive myself of interesting things to do. So then what would I be doing? Just throw away TCG matches and twiddling my thumbs? Yeah. We're there and to get on top. I swear, those Tri-Stars just... Having them gone is... An absolute godsend. Feels so nice to get those achievements done, because the remaining two are just Night Soul Totem ones, which are, again... Really more puzzles than fights proper, which... Is nice! Because I don't need to worry too much about just DPS checks, annoying gimmicks I have to trivialize, and settle out the fun gimmicks that I can use to make myself stronger and trivialize the enemy. Gimmicks to trivialize versus gimmicks to that trivialize, so to speak. Ah, oh, this... Ow, pfft, bit my tongue. This place seems conspicuous. I should chronicle the Dream Seeker Priest. Some people think that the contents of that in the book apparently hint that Columbina might be playable this patch cycle, which frankly would not surprise me for better or worse. Where are you gliding? Seems as if you're going to lead the way to treasure. Maybe. The fact that they glow is always an object of curious concern. You know, imagine how easy this would be if you could just use whatever animal ability presumably exists. Pair together and if you're united here, what is that going to do for me? Answer is nothing? Okay. Well, good for you. Now you're dead. That's why you need to actually give me things. Okay. So don't retaliate with Overwhelming disproportionate violence. Okay. Okay, we're in here. Bubbles there are definitely a puzzle. It's interesting that it makes a crash noise when it isn't dealing damage, but it helps give you a feeling of impact. So if you're doing actual hits, it'd be hard to maintain. The pyro aura. Because you're basically doing little non hits to charge up your actual hit. It's an interesting way to do things. I like it. It's the Chamber of Night's Trial, where we need to go eventually. I mean, where we've been before, that is. So, got our chrysanthemums, and last one is around that tree. So, got. I haven't actually been around this spot before. I'm wondering if something of note might be there that I just haven't seen. Okay, so you can do a sort of janky waterfall climb of sorts a sort of a sort of and just a couple of chrysanthemums it is nice just being able to skate around and surf around here in perpetuity now that you over here 
So your consumption on water is basically zero. Oh. You sprint and gets more trouble summon. Oh, it kicks her off the surfboard. Not great. There's a bit more over there then. Which actually comes as a surprise to me. But we may as well try to get around a little faster. Can't imagine it would hurt. So it was just over here. You know, it, it'd be nice to just show them all at once, but I imagine people would get a little overwhelmed. Got more areas, and it'll be a good amount of the way to Shionen and Kinich. Though, of course, one is more relevant right now than the other. Thank you. Just go about in this area, and oh, that's actually a very high number. That's nice. But what I wonder is... Someone did refer to a waterfall hiding a secret. I think it was probably the one in the Fogiston Research Center. Though to be fair, that's one you have to split from inside the waterfall is a way out. Instead of a waterfall, you have to go inside, which probably is why they did it that way, because otherwise it'd be rather annoying to find. But just a little bit more. It's nice to be able to use these movement abilities. Because they could always just make it so that you didn't need specialties. But it encourages you to actually go around the world in a way that people might not have otherwise. Either way, we're showing. It's all I really felt any need to get done. Here's we'll need a little more exploration, but... Bounties, requests, those will all come in due time. Emily is nicely close to nine, and therefore next week should be at level ten. Before I get Kini so I can easily switch her out and him in to the party. For the sake of collecting friendship most adequately and reliably. So in that case, I guess that'll be it. Thank you to everyone who popped in, and yeah, Santa Ragon.